Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dem YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. You know, it's Teach Dem, the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Boom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dem YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. which teach them the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Good night, everyone. Let me know if you're seeing me clearly. Let me know if you're hearing me clearly. If you're seeing and hearing me clearly, welcome to another episode of Extra Class, episode number 330. We lip, we lip, we lip something. <laughs> With there, peace, big up on yourself. It's been a minute. Yes, and with there, give thanks and... Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Peace. Big up for yourself. Hope all is well enough. You know, they are going to all of us, all of reason and thing. And them something there. Scott, look up my camera. You're not seeing any focus. I'll just look on the screen then, right? Okay. Good know. night, guys. I hope everyone is well. In the best frame of mind. Hope you're all healthy, staying safe. As we are in unprecedented times. What do they have on wallet? Now that child's not there. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, peeps, so with there, no. um, as Mr. Miller know, I scat in a, in a focus. See? But if me folk, she, you know, me, I go out of focus. Alright, I can't work with that. Yeah, son, I'm kind of soft, <coughs> but I'm hard in a real life. So peace, we're there. A whole heap of things we talk about. It's been mm -hmm. a minute. Um, a million different things going on a jam down, jam rock. Jamaica land we love. Land of food and water, Bob Marley, St. Paul, Vice Cartel, Bunch of Pantan, Shelly and Fraser Price, Late Time, Sports, and Simpsons. That's a whole heap more people. Flight Green and Bella and Ruel Reed. Ruel <laughs> Reed and, and um, Joseph Pattison <laughs> and um, Karen yeah. Cross. Oh, and um, some whole heap of things. Bugger things. So we come to unpack some things tonight, you understand? And show how me feel about a few things. And I guess Scotty, it's funny to say, I really key to that. <laughs> <laughs> so how me feel about a few things. And um, I guess Scotty will do the same. You don't know, feel the way about nothing. You don't feel the way about nothing. No, sir. We <laughs> are Baba and we. Yeah, That's Baba and we. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, yes. But. The COVID situation is still on us, and the latest figures for the past 24 hours. What are I mean, they? 434 new cases, 12 more deaths. Me stop, me stop, look at it. It's no good for my anxiety. It's no good for your anxiety? No. Why? We just do it because we need the information for when like, look them at something it, when we're talking about them. Anxiety got through the roof. You see me? Mm -hmm. And, um,. So Jamaica has recorded 12 more COVID-19 fatalities, pushing the tally to 1,821. Um, guys, let me know if you don't hear me good then, because I'm going to meet them at dance still and thing, but I just want to know if they are forward to clear. So the deceased um, includes a 64-year-old man, 58-year-old woman, 62-year-old man, another 62-year-old man, 86 year old woman and a 64 year old woman all from Manchester Clarendon had three fatalities a 38 year old woman 46 year old female 73 year old man Kingston and St. Andrew had three 73 year old male and a 65 and 68 year old well female I, I suppose I don't know what I said what mm. So the Ministry of Health says that deaths occurred between September 16 and 21 and six more deaths are on the investigation moving the figure 
uh, the number of people and the investigation to 297. So you probably so can't. Possible. Possible. Yeah, yeah, possible. Call it that. Yeah, call it that. Possible. So meanwhile, there were 434 new cases with ages ranging from five months. Can you imagine Six. your five year old youth can't breathe, brother? Your five month Your five month old youth can't breathe to 97 years, pushing the total number to 81,828 with 27,896 being active. And the COVID breakdown by parish, Kingston and St. Andrew, 95, St. Catherine, 86, St. James, 51, St. Anne, 48, St. Elizabeth, 31, Clarendon, 25, Manchester, 19, St. Mary, 19, St. Thomas, 18, Hanover and Trelawney, both had 15, I Westmoreland, 12, and Portland, no Portland. new case. Yeah? Mm. And thing and thing and thing. So, Poland and go and big up on yourself. Move. You understand? All good things <laughs> are going both of most of the time. Poland and go on and lowest murder, lowest shooting. And that's how I move. You understand? I don't know nobody down there will take me, but I just. I go on a tree till such. Rosie, I've lost down there, man. We're empty. I, what? Rosie, you can't good catch man. me somewhere. We live good with anybody. Just catch me now. I look a spot somewhere around the corner in the bend. We need to move to Portland. Good night, Kerry. How are you? It's good to see you. So, those are the latest numbers. Um, a total of 1,510 tests were conducted, and the country's positivity rate is now 31%. A move from about 49 or 9 mm-hmm. times. Coming down, coming down. So we down. give down to small yes, nurses, eh? Yes, coming down. Um, Rosie said empty. See that? My bingo. Portland, me live now. So Rosie, you have empty also over Portland. Talk to me, Rosie. I'm ready. I'm ready. Portland, my thing there now. We're very out of focus, but <laughs> everything good still. Don't you just go and listen to me. Your cheek had a teach. She look nice. No. <laughs> He's my brother. I'm a sister with G. Yeah, man. <laughs> So, 663 persons are in hospital, with 135 being moderately ill, 117 severely ill, and 42 critically ill. It's a critical number. Four persons are in government quarantine, while 37,499 are home. On the road. Sorry, because <laughs> I, 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 I know it's not a funny matter, but then people they to don't walk up and dog. <laughs> Sir. We well, say people they don't walk up they and dog. They don't walk up and none of the truth. The people them in a home quarantine. Don't you know about you live with the people them? People they out to don't walk up and dog, right, right, sir. Like you I don't ask you. I know that for your fuck. <laughs> I it's all like you know people are supposed to be on quarantine when you walk up and down. Sir, I know enough people were coming to the island who should have been on quarantine and they bought them jolly good time. But mm. they not checking for them. But they not checking for them. And I don't want to fool. And rec- when I go away and come back, I lock up in my house for 14 years like me an idiot. Um, well, somebody, um, Jay Graham, so, so, um, in the meantime, recoveries remain at 51,544. Mm-hmm. So recovery rate to them be about and, and the total number was again eighty one thousand something down. Mm-hmm. So the recovery rate to them being at the region of say forty something percent, forty means forty five there there about possible yeah man because um fifty. Mm, about yeah, that, no, I'm more, I'm more than that. The recovery is... No, I'm on a fifty eight percent man. Yeah man. Mm-hmm. Fifty eight percent. High fifties it look like. They need to be more fast. Yes, so so I mean. So, uh, I the thing there. No, we know as a result of the COVID situation, a number of things may happen. You know, people are dying, and as a result, you know, family members are having to treat with that, deal with that. So, I to, well, I saw an article where it says that family says mom died after contracting COVID at, COVID at the hospital. Um, even before you know, reading the article. Mm-hmm. We have had a conversation before where I said, our oh, hospital thing did set up well. I don't know the current situation, mm-hmm. but in the past couple of weeks, the thing was of such where everybody mix up. Recently, I would have had somebody gone into the hospital, as you know. And basically, um, it's, it's a mix-up thing, I want because there's limited space. 
Um, he was up there for like about two days, 80, 80, 80 year old. Mm. And he was on a chair for the two days that he was up there. Um, everybody was, it's, it's everybody. So it's not like there's a separation. 88 year old patient and a chair Yeah, man, and he was on a no chair beds. for two days. And his brother went into the hospital for maybe more than a week and was on chair, chair and sit down one too. There are no beds. Mm. No beds. Chair him, sit down for him, man. And sit down for the chair till them discharge him for come back home. No bed, no death him get. So it's possible so you can go in COVID free and And contract COVID. With COVID. Yeah, man. It's possible. Teach, I know you are very, well, you to be a reasonable person, eh? <laughs> but don't you think Jamaica will have to learn to live with COVID like what other countries are doing? Naturally. Focus on lockdown and curfews. Focus on lockdowns and curfews are unsustainable. Agreed. 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 We never, we never say no to that. We will have to learn to live with COVID naturally. Kinda There's nothing nowhere. else weak. It, sorry, where you talking about? No, I got no You know, see, each time we think we, 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 we bingo is a new set come. Rough. And once the borders are open, it will continue as such. Mm. So yes, we will have to learn to live with it. But but my problem is that persons are not learning to live with it. Mm. it they are behaving as if it's a regular degla day, and it isn't. What? Learning to live with it means abiding by the protocols. That's what learning to live with it means. You know? Right. But yet still... People not learning to live with it, sir. But you don't think people tell their protocols too. Sir, I tell the whole heap of things in your life and see me still there. There's enough things I tell them. No one and do a lot of things in life. But here I am. So you think you think wearing masks for the foreseeable future is, is sustainable? <coughs> is, is yes. Doable? Yes, it is doable. Mm. It is doable. There are other countries who would have been wearing masks before COVID came about. Yeah. You have some countries when once the flu season come around, people wear masks. Mm. So as as a general say, yes, we have to learn to live with it. Cause we don't have a choice, it's not gonna win. Not choice. Is it that you understand? learn to live with it or you you take but, that but, really but My views on that is that as a people we are very selfish. And stubborn, stubborn. and self centered. Yeah. And, 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 and full of ego and full of ourselves. We just me. Me. Mm. So, I'm going to talk about this. A family in Luida's Vale, St. Catherine, is mourning the death of their mother, 56 year old um, Beryl Jr., who they say contracted COVID 19 when she, well, where she was admitted with asthma. I'm going to read that again. Which hospital? Spanish town. So, I'll read it okay. again. A family in Luada's Vale, St. Catherine, is mourning the death of their mother, 56-year-old Beryl Jr., who they say contracted COVID-19 while she was a patient at the Spanish Town Hospital where she was admitted with asthma problems. Well, asthma thing and the COVID thing and really work out, you know? It can't work out, sir. Because asthma a breathing problem you have already. Mm. COVID can make, make, make it worse. But you see, and, and this is my problem, and it, it has been my problem for a while now. You do not necessarily have to contract COVID to end up at the hospital. Right. And that is what bothers me. Mm -hmm. Because, let me say, me and my house have hide from COVID. Long time. A long, long time, sir. Mm -hmm. Just maybe move from under the bed now to the side of the bed. <laughs> right? But anything can happen. I can be home and anything happen. And me have to go to the hospital. True. And the, the fact is that me might end up at the hospital and dead. Mm -hmm. Because one, there's nobody to attend to me. Two, the resources that would have been used to attend to me have been depleted. True. So me go to hospital for something with on a regular day. Me not and come COVID out, related. Right. Yeah. But because of how selfish some of us are and, and we are stockpiled the hospitals them and the healthcare workers then tired. So somebody end up dying from a heart attack. Somebody end up dying from a stroke. The little 17 year old end up dying from a asthma attack. These are the these are the repercussions of us being stupid. That's the only word to describe some of us. I am sorry. I am just very sorry about that. It's the only word to describe some of us. That's so very Four upset. Four fold. Teach me vex man. Cause there are persons dying that would not need to die. Mm. 
if they could get the health care that they needed. But because of the strain and the COVID situation. But the system is burdened, sir. I remember our health care system was not the best from Good Morning. Which is true. It was never the best. We were just coping. Jaja, mm. ja. teacher, I disagree with most of what she's saying. Okay, um, me, you know what thing go? We can always agree and thing and disagree. You know what I mean? Um, everybody see the thing and view the thing differently. Zane, um, Simone or Simon? Simone Bogle, long time supporter, proud of mm. you, bro. Come a far away from the North four days. Growth <laughs> is a lovely thing. Person, do you have a family? Yeah, man, a long time Person support of the two, man. Person, do you have a Scotty, please stop this in the Jamaican people. People are not stupid. The politicians, mm. are, they didn't make any preparations for this virus. So. <laughs> All right, God tell that. So no preparations were made. But we know what it is we are facing now. And we see what is happening. What do we then do? Because I can throw my hand up in the air and just ball and say me done. But I realize that that's not a viable option. What do we now do? The person will say, me the Jamaica, tell me what we now do then. Mm. As a people, we're stuck in a little spot. Things now go the way it used to go or the way it should go. Please tell me what do we now do. Alright, until I reply, I'm going to go and read. Junior's eldest daughter, Julianne McKay, said her mother developed breathing problems associated with her asthma and was taken to her family doctor who did a COVID-19 test that returned a negative result. Mm -hmm. According to McKay, her mother's condition worsened, prompting the doctor to, well, prompting the doctor on September 6th to suggest that she be taken to hospital as her <coughs> oxygen was low. Well. McKay said that her mother was admitted that night and the hospital performed a COVID test that also came back negative. negative. So she went in negative. However, the family said that on September 12th, they were told by the hospital authorities that their mother had passed away from COVID-19 complications mm -hmm. the day before. Our mother was COVID-free when she was admitted. She must have caught it there, said McKay. She alleged, well, she also alleged that her mother was in a wheelchair for four days and was sharing oxygen with a patient who had COVID-19. You just talk about the chair situation still. Okay, Stacy and Lynch, another sibling who visited her mother in hospital, said she was sharing a room with another patient. So... Teacher sharing of a guan. Yeah, but 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 but, but, but the thing when we can we kinda jump out from here. So she they are saying that their mother was sharing an oxygen tank with, with somebody positive. who was known to everybody to be COVID positive. So if I saw that go then that not right. You no, can't right. no say that not right. That that rough if I saw your brother. But it was just crazy. After her mom died. That was when they called us to tell us, oh, your mother died from COVID-19 because we did another test and it, it, it came back positive. This, this is what is puzzling us because we know she was COVID-free when she got there, Lynn said. So the youngest of the four siblings, Abigail Jr., was adamant that her mother did not contract the virus before going to the hospital because all the children tested negative for COVID on August 23. Mm -hmm. You see, all of us in this household follow protocols, and our mother was not an outgoing person. Even if she has to go out, she would use private transportation. Now, CEO at the hospital, Jacqueline Ellis, said she has just been made aware of the matter and could not provide a fulsome response. The matter, matter, mm -hmm. <laughs> the matter has just been brought to our attention by you. Yeah. So... The, the, the family never no, speak to the hospital staff, find that weird. Not me not, so the family never do it. I mean, I find it weird, say, mm -hmm. no, man, I what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And we cannot provide a response at this time. But what we can assure is that an investigation will be carried out, Ellis said. Now, the siblings described June as a perfect role model who worked very hard to raise them and instilled the proper values in them. Oh boy. They say the grief is devastating and even with the complications that she had endured for years without hospitalization, they did not expect her to pass. 
So, so, this is just one in 1,800 cases, no, eh? Mm-hmm. Imagine you're, and you're, you're just, I said the thing again, sister, say, um, where did I say again? I kind of lose. Oh, <laughs> oh, that I, process. I being right, no, I say, you're going to the hospital mm-hmm. with that, with something unrelated to, to COVID, COVID, and because of the COVID situation, you may end up dying. Look, look at look at our student the other day that died. You know that they're saying it's COVID related, it's COVID complications he died from. Yeah? Yeah. And he went in with cancer. Oh, uh, Junior? No. Stephen? Mm hmm. And that, that's crazy. It's rough. So I guess uh, first and foremost, let me take time out to express my sincere condolences to Miss Junior's family. I mean that's sad, man. For no your mother going to the hospital for something different from COVID and, 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 and COVID complications. So it's crazy. <laughs> things sad. Things sad. It's crazy. I mean, the other day when my grandfather went in, I tell you, I was literally afraid because while he went in COVID negative. Men was say any game can play. Mm. Middle of Jamaica is saying people are indeed making the effort to follow the rules. I don't agree with that. No, sir. Not, 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 not everybody. They some could... people pay scant regard. Some people not even believe that COVID still exists in Middle of Jamaica. So to say that, I don't, I, well, I am assuming you're meaning all Jamaicans. And if that is the case, then no. But you're saying people are indeed making an effort to follow the rules. No. However, some of these measures, three day lock, Three days lockdown makes absolutely no sense and it is contributing to the spread rather than reducing it. But I, we just said we don't agree with I you. can see yeah, where we agree with that many instances of, of the lockdown kind of have a negative effect on the world scene in terms of the supermarket pile up and the <laughs> bank and the tax office and the ATMs. Yeah, you know, and think about that too. <laughs> so, I'm so, doing here. Mm-hmm. Uh, the majority, sir. I, I, I still don't think we can quantify that still. But I agree that many Jamaicans are trying. But I also think many are not that trying. many are paying very scant regard to the situation. Many. Really do you I understand? Have. So, um, Teach, a friend of mine lost her mom. And, and, uh, and that two weeks apart. apart. They live in Portmore. Jaja, sorry for you that you know fam. Sorry for you that. Sorry for you that. You're rough, brother. You're rough, man. You're rough. Mr. Admiral Bailey um, mm-hmm. posted a status the other day. He man sad, man. He man has said, brother, everybody may know are dead. That was Not everybody we may know around me are dead. It's sad, I mean, you But I got to say something to him, man. And like then what I got to tell him? R.I.P. now come like I just been at the hashtag. Man. Everything, every turn you turn. And it's somebody, maybe maybe not somebody you know directly, but you know somebody will know the person. Then you see that picture go up and you're like, ah, what go on? You hear say the person did. Like, mm-hmm. you're rough, man. Cheryl, depressing is not even a word to describe it, Cheryl. You're rough. It's a lot. No, you know, I make like COVID situation, I know. Let me see. You know, I make like COVID situation. <laughs> And I say nothing to your Another politician decides, say, mm. they're not sensible. <laughs> you know, if you watch a channel regular enough, the streams, you know that I have not had my views to suggest that Floyd Green should have been made Minister of Education, seeing that I have been in education. And you thought he was a. I thought he was somebody who could have helped the transformation that is badly needed Mm -hmm. in the education system. Very young, you understand, fairly intelligent, Mm -hmm. you understand, understand that the thing, and he probably can relate to Mm -hmm. students, children, Mm -hmm. who make up the majority of the Mm -hmm. education sector. See, I mean, I normally have no ratings to most politicians, but it's a youth, you never have no political baggage that I know of at the time. Coming with, yeah. I mean, I say, being an educator and seeing the problems that exist in the sector, mm-hmm. I think that Floyd Green would have been mm-hmm. Zim, but we said, all right, the Prime Minister said agriculture. He's from the agricultural belt. Yeah, so me, fine. Me did like that. Yeah, I said, all right, very young again. Good move. Good move. Mm-hmm. Zim, he has been the poster boy for agriculture, trying to get the thing moving. He has been moving it. And lo and behold, 
He made a man score a own goal. He blundered. <laughs> he blundered. No. From the get go, the, the first person that I had a conversation with when the thing, because Scotty, I'm tell Scotty, say, Here we go on. One or two things. Either the Prime Minister have got fire him, or I have got to resign. There's no escaping. Why? Because at the time, I feel so cold. Because at the time, the Prime Minister was asking us. To make sacrifices, Wall Street. no yes. movement, Wall Street. and a minister of government out of floss and then das. You understand? Frolicking Floyd. How would they come up with that? Those cool man. <laughs> you understand? I drink champagne and I behave like innocent to the thing. So if the prime minister never fire him, I am resigned. The Prime Minister couldn't come to the country to ask them to make no more sacrifices. You know. mm-hmm. Zin, I also said to Scotty at the time that look how fly green, I go get sacrifice. I go get I go be the sacrificial lamb for uh. man like Ruel and Wheatley uh. and Vaz and JC Hutchinson where the Prime Minister come up with some silly excuse for and move them round like a chess piece. Fly green is going to be the fall guy. <laughs> and that's exactly what he was. Fly the fall guy. <laughs> See? Falling, falling fly. And I mean, as me say, me know that it got happen. So when it happened, because yeah. Scotty and me say, me tell us that it was going brother, there was no other option. He had to go. No. He had to go. He, I, 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 he had to go. At first, you remember the conversation, me I said, no, he not going to push out fly to he the woods. He had to push him out. I understand, but... but no, that child's never did still. Scotty, imagine you asked for three, four weekends consecutively if you don't move. I'll we'll fly, we'll fly out there <laughs> with no fear. Uh, A minister of government. Rough. Some people has gone further and I say, mm-hmm. yo, them should not arrest him. So why Mr. Wright never go? Go here. Mr. Wright was not a member of government. Um, was, wasn't a member of the cabinet, I should say, Kerry. He was just a member of parliament. And See? it wasn't a no movement today when what transpired, transpired. Right, but that thing that's serious to say, do you? Correct. See? But Kerry, um, the, 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 the situation is that sure. Mr. Wright had no portfolio responsibility. Fearless, fearless, fearless flight. Flight. <laughs> That one, we prefer that one Zin? that way. Frolicking fly, yeah, we must frolic in man. Go away, Zin. So he had to go as much Sadly. as I think that he Sadly. was helping. And, and I've said before Sadly. that we need to stop being so reliant and towards him and yes, push our and push agriculture, agriculture for food security Correct. and for the export mm-hmm. um, for an situation, Zin. But at the end of the day, he had to go. You understand? Some there people no have gone further and mm-hmm. said that he should have been arrested and charged under the Disaster Risk Management Act. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not certain what is happening with that. Okay. And in all fairness, he should have been. If he's to be charged, because then so you can't have police or put people up in a truck for the same thing. You understand? It's that the police just never got the venue. Go see them. That. Zane, but you know, means so you can't charge him because if you have the my, information, my oh lad, careful now because mm-hmm. remember, even this evening we were discussing, they said, um, the, the JCM was saying they are going to arrest people from video, right? So if they have your other video, say you were there, then them, so them did I investigate, but I'm mean, not hearing nothing from you now. You know, them things are going on conscious, they disappear. That's your wonder what Floyd is, though. Floyd, as I said, was a sacrificial lamb. Um, the Andrea said, him no fall guy, and him still an MP. Yeah, brother, because it's only the people can can change that, you know. Flight have a rebound The still. prime, hold on, hold on, let me, let because this is something, you have some teachable moment. Mm-hmm. Let me clear up something for some people who still not understand. The only people who can remove an MP are the people who elected him. The prime minister cannot remove an MP from a constituency. The constitution does not facilitate that. So he can remove him as a minister of government and he can remove him from the party, but he cannot be removed as, as a MP. member of parliament. So let us not get our thing kind of twisted now. See him? They can't move. Then that's why they could not move, Judge Wright. So whilst I agree that he should have been charged. Fair enough. Zane, mm. he <laughs> put himself in a position where 
they were, you know, you used to watch um, Jason and the Real Warriors and Sabas used to say, You cannot escape. You couldn't escape. <laughs> you know, not again. <laughs> you understand? You couldn't escape. You understand? And him to take it because he should have yeah, known man. better. But I think he's taking it gracefully, you know. That's my opinion. You're saying that his apology was sincere? I think so. The thing about Floyd, you know, Floyd is just is a PG moment, you know. I shall return, you know. Yeah. And the truth is that Floyd, Floyd will be back. Um, whatever we think about it, Zane, when with the, with the Shell Weaver scandal, PJ said, I shall return, and he returned for about 100 years. <laughs> a true man. A lie. A true. A true. A true. He come back here out straight. 18 years. Unbeaten. <laughs> so, Floyd. Oh, boy. The politics of politics is very politicky. <laughs> Fly that fool. Fly make a big mistake, man. That's what I think. Fly. Fool, Say, fool, fly. Is the make next a one. Big mistake, man. See, I you to should I know better? You understand? That I understand that. From. But, but as I tell you, the first thing I tell you the morning to is that you know me not surprised because politicians can not nothing to surprise me. I said no man, yes, we can't fly. Me surprised. Me tell you man. some be surprised. Me never expect that. Mm. Man, say I told you, but me I look pan. Eh? I could have you pick that. Talk to me. What you know about me? Me, me, me don't know what you want. Just tell me what you know. I think so. So the thing is that fly there now. Um, he truth is fly not really going nowhere, and that in itself too is an issue. Correct. See, that is a problem. Mm -hmm. You understand, but. I mean, it, it, it is just, he was forced to make an apology. How but I, I can't that? speak to that yeah. still, you understand? I know that the apology was made and um, he's yeah. no longer Minister of Agriculture and thing. At face value, you know, many politicians have been involved in things and them never the resign or make a public apology. So... We say, but the truth is that Floyd not gone away. Floyd shall be back. Just like how PJ never gone away and he was back. You understand? But he should have been charged. Just like everybody else who has been charged under the DRME. Because they should be charged, eh? all of them were there should have been charged. Bella me and all of them. Who is the videographer though? I'm sorry. I don't know why videographer either. Who is the videographer? Oh, that's a million dollar no, question. Yeah, no, no, but I don't know. It seems. I don't know who for there, but the person for there is a shower, power. So one of the other shower labor, right? Power. So I don't know. It's strange. But um the former minister of education did not apologize for his action. Oh, God. The former minister of education <laughs> and, a, and a human being man. See that? man let's, let's not be conscious of man. But we soon get to it. <laughs> but my, my, my take on the flight situation, as I told you from the get-go. Is that him have to fire him or him have to resign? You understand? Mm -hmm. Simple match. There was no getting out of it, no two ways. You can't. No willing to do what you ask people to do. You see? Mrs. Smaddy said, I gotta beat Fly because Fly did not get people at St. Elizabeth Pizza for the vaccine. So your name was, I gotta go beat you. <laughs> the Who said that? that? Somebody wants to beat you because. Like. You know what they got? Um, yeah, I, I and then if God did fear beat, mm. a bag of winner and a bag of strappings. But, I know you have a sauce spot for flight. I don't have a spot for no politician. <laughs> Zane, as I said, he would have been the best fit for education <coughs> minister at And the we time. would have agreed to that. And, and then, and when I, he was made minister of agriculture, agriculture, that was a very good move And we would well. have seen him moving Zane, in agri. And in full. At this one, I think. Should have known better. He you should understand? have known better. Um, politicians should look and... No, sir. When you do foolishness, there are repercussions. Sir, the, the, the law applies to all of us. You're a Jamaican, the law applies Theoretically. To Th that's what it should be. Okay. Let me correct myself. Mm. It should be that the law applies to all of us. Anything will apply to you, apply to me. Yeah. So, it is what it is. So, Bella made then resign from all I board with the Nepal. So, Baga board with the Nepal. You see a girl who did a fair birthday, uh -huh. Hilton. She yeah. resigned from all I board with the she did the pan. Okay. Yo, easy we go up on board boat and just turn so politician for another brother. Oh. And that's sad thing. And, and that's why we can't get on board. We don't have the right friends. <laughs> Yo, brother. All you need for go up on board. I know a politician in your body. 
You see me? Things that are weird. So that's the situation with Fly Green. Fly Green resigns after fierce backlash over COVID breach. Mm. Yeah, sir. And hold on, before I go any further, too, let, me, let me say a little thing, too. You see, when you come over, you stream over here, sir. Because someone who good as yes, new. Zane? Big up yourself, Father Lieber, Peter. Manners and respect, Arthur Love. When you come here, me not come, me not come here, so come sit down to tell you why you want here. Remember that. Me not come here, come sit down to tell you the things them where I go suit you and make you comfortable and happy. Me come here to treat with each story That's on its merit and share my views and keep it moving. <clears throat> Correct. So when you come here, come good, you know your feelings, just leave. You don't have to come here, you know. So if you come here, me, me come here, if you deal with each story, share my views and oh, me go. Yeah. Me not come here to stroke your ego and make you feel say, whoa, you see the thing and so the thing. And we can, we can agree to disagree. Yo, people are so sensitive. We, we can is, agree to disagree. Brother, me soon, me soon come to the sensitive thing, brother. We can agree because to Because some disagree. people t- string me up on the cross, you know. <laughs> I feed me vinegar in a brother and I juke me in a side. Look. Crucify him, man. Give us Barabbas, man. All the cars in the video. They said the protest was an anti vax protest. Yo! Hey, brother. Give us Barabbas, man. Crucify him. Half with his head, man. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll soon we'll we'll get to that. No. You see, we have long said that. Yeah. A bigger part of Jamaica, well, one of the biggest chunk of the Jamaican problem, mm-hmm. apart from a corrupt political directorate. When I say politician, I mean PNP, JLP, every P. All of them. Yeah, son. Corrupt police officers. Our mentality, you them know, three so things eh, is, is the thing. And we know that, well, I mean, I ask me, I speak for myself. Mm-hmm. I think that there are still more good police officers bad. than bad mm-hmm. police officers. I agree with that. But the problem is, as grandma used to say, one bad apple spoiled the, spoil the whole bunch. bunch. Mm-hmm. And whilst there are police officers out there who still have the best interests of Jamaica and the Jamaicans at heart, mm-hmm. you have some police officers out there when they have not. And uh, all the only interest is self. For them, self. Mm-hmm. Police money pull up. Cops allegedly collecting big bucks from illegal party promoters. A long time people have said this, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, fierce poor and said, give us Barabbas man and half. <laughs> Crucify teach them, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm really coming to me. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I can't believe that people are so sensitive, brother. They are. They are. Uh, so the title was. They are. Um, the UIC president mm-hmm. arrested among those arrested at anti vax No man, they are that. Crucify him! <laughs> and, and I think in these ja, times, ja. in these times, though, things kind of set you kind of maybe look overly sensitive. So. People too sensitive, brother. Yeah. Yo, me I say yo, brother. And crucify your brother. Barabbas them all, man. I'm not here for water. 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 I wouldn't be get so sensitive as a people. Crucify your little back. Buck your toilet. Ma- yo, man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, say, brother. Mm. You just show your hand. I yeah, so which one, the right or the left? Because I know when you have to teach them a company, man. Yo, teach them a government channel like TVG. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this is our comments, brother. Hey. Yo, this is... Hey, that's funny. Brother, he's a company, man. He's a company, company, man. Company, man. Hey, I mean, you live so good, you don't tell me. Dog, you don't tell me a government channel like TVG, brother. Teach them, brother. Man, every crucifier, man. Yeah, man. But I can move on. I'm soon come to the protest business. John Gray, your wife has a good problem. I'm aware of Yo. <laughs> and, and oh, I don't want to do that the situation, but more time I'm out of focus. But we will just listen to my voice and look for Scotty. Just turn comments from. No, no, no. 876 yeah, Pro God, man. We're not turning on the comments, man. Teach them. Ooh, what is an. <laughs> Only time, only time comments turn off when YouTube do that themselves. A couple of videos one time run. Mm. I want me to talk about at the time. 
What were How those videos on? The Rasta trimming situation. Yeah, yeah, that one was. And, and them, there was them, another them. one though. And they turned off the comments. Remember, we not discuss it. Remember the one. Remember and I said, as to why song. would they do it? You know, brother. You understand? So, me not turn off the comment. Man. People free for express themselves, you know. Yeah, understand? People free for express themselves. Yeah, you must get express themselves. Don't want to share what I want. So, watch you now. Illegal party promoters have allegedly been shelling out big bucks to police officers to allow the underground events to continue in contravention of the Disaster Risk Management Act. Why you pay attention to allegedly? Brother, they are collect money. Some of them are collect money, Scotty. Allegedly. Scotty. You can't sit down right as a beside me. Mm-hmm. You know, the chair the beside a female chair. <laughs> and tell me, say, so you don't think that there are police officers out there collecting mm-hmm. money so party can go on. And that's what I say allegedly, sir. Scotty, me I lose half of you. Yes, you know, you want to lose if I need in my opinion. <laughs> It is understood that some cops, instead of shutting down the parties when they patrol the venues, are given up to $60,000 and sometimes food and liquor to bypass the events. 60 grand? You didn't take it. I'm not going to turn police. You know, I'm going to start assessing my friends there. What teacher am going to turn police? I'm going to start assessing my friends there. You know, you see, as, 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 you, as you're talking about this, I had a conversation with somebody earlier on. And they're saying that um, just like how JDF mm. is, you know, like a little state to themselves, right. that JCF might need to move to such a extent also. No. Because, hold on, let me tell you what they were saying. They're saying that the police in the general population coming and going, it is more easy for them to be corrupted. If they were... By themselves, basically like JDF, mm. then it would reduce. No, let me tell you why problem. Soldiers, in my opinion, have a greater level of patriotism mm-hmm. than police. I could be wrong, you know, invest addict, I go rush me now, because I'm, I'm a police. Big up yourself, you know, brother, I appreciate the service. See? But soldiers, you know, soldiers is the line of defense between your country and external forces. Right. They have this level of patriotism in them where if kind of soldier got JD for turn party shop to you know, no, no, forget that you know. There's no foolish system going on with you know. Mm-hmm. Look here, the police them just need to do them job and left people alone with them money. If a man forget lock up, you lock him up. Lock up everybody. If teacher forget lock up, then lock him up, brother. Make me, me I'm a lawyer work it out, cause I must sit me do. And mm-hmm. if me, if me never wrong, then the channels are there for treat with that. And and if it and it come to light if you never wrong question for Scotty, you know, it on the little boy who was receiving treatment. Yes. Yes, Tracy Kelly. He is back in Jamaica. Um, cancer has been in remission. Mm-hmm. So that is good news. You know, I was to say it it's so poor of me not to come back and say anything. My apologies. See a serving member of the force I said it happened for real. Not sure about those figures though. Push out the facts, push out the evidence, no? Make we examine it. <laughs> is that officer telling that? Ever? Oh, is that okay, 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 sir. <laughs> Alright, so we could continue. Mm-hmm. Under the DRME, parties, dance and other entertainment events are banned. As part of the government's measures to contact parties are banned. <laughs> I'll fly it out outside. With more waiting and more outside. To contain this product for COVID 19, this has led to some entertainment organizers using sophisticated and creative means to host events illegally. The some way, people jump over wah 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 we see police too. I'm going to say a bag of people are run up on them like they might eat it. No, so mm. they have no time for that. So watch you now. Watch you now. Some of lookout men. Well, some of lookout men watch for when the cops are coming and turn off the sound system if they do. And some, some of them literally you know? go on to underground of buildings while others use Bluetooth technology, which is the mm-hmm. headphone, mm-hmm. at their venues. So no noise is heard. <laughs> Where is... Where this insatiable <laughs> desire for party come from though? Like I don't know. Because when last me go to one party. I me mean, not me not feel no way about it, brother. Oh one year or two, right? Me not feel no way about it, you know. 
You see it? Young girl. You hear me up on your life. People good as I hear you. <laughs> At tomorrow I'm in a trim. I saw a message of me. Look when I don't see me talk to you. Man. When? No? Alright. Uh, me and Jams come, come out of front. Are oh, you there front? Alright, alright, Nakita. When you come, when you come, I'm there. Yeah. Alright, so I'll go on now. Yeah, so. The promoters with whom the observer online spoke is not a teacher, you know, because some people think I may do some things, you know. It's not true. Declare yourself. <laughs> Chose sir. to remain anonymous for fear of reprisal, police. You know, Naturally. Alright. One said he had to fork out 20, 000, at least $20,000 each to four cops at 80 grand. Nothing, brother. My mother And he said, at least, I would ask more. Who turned up at this party in St. Catherine? He said the cops ensured that the other but police personnel did not come, come to, to the, the area. Whoa. Another said two cops visited his venue when the bulk of patrons had not arrived. Me never give no big money yet. Well, me never get no big money yet. So me give them four grand a piece and two food and some liquor. Hungry belly business, a man them depend, brother. A man them for do better. One shared his not too pleasant experience. He's convinced the police took his money, but then after leaving, called Senator other people. cops <laughs> to shut his party down. He said he knows policemen who and routinely funny. key parties which are never shut down, and that is the next problem. Some of these parties are being promoted. Well, the promoters are police. Af Look here, sis. The tired. truth. The truth of the matter is that. I'm tired. Tired is even. <laughs> Tell you right now, and some of them same police here lock up people at a party, you know, brother? It's story long, but that's the gist of it. You see? Mm -hmm. Come move on to some things, you know. So they make money then. A licky licky, then licky licky for two sure. You understand? Yeah. Three Clifton Boys Home employees charged for abusing wards. Three employees at the Clifton Boys Home in Darleston, Westmoreland, have been charged for the abuse of wards at the facility. So the police say the eight wards were abused between abused between March 2016 and March 2021. The manager of the facility, 80-year-old Irene McDonald, is charged with assault occasioning occasioning actual bodily harm Eight. and unlawful wounding. Yeah, at first he said when you see it Her fifty her son, 58-year-old William. William McDonald, who is the facility's assistant manager, and her granddaughter, 35-year-old Rashida McDonald, a housekeeper at the facility, have both been charged with assault occasion in actual body alarm. It's a family business. Mm -hmm. I think it's a what? It's a, it's a, it's a state entity. Speaking about family, state and family, we soon come to some city, you see? You sure how they are now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. According to the police, a probe found that the eight boys who were between 10 and 17 were physically abused by the trio. The police say on one occasion, William McDonald reportedly used an iron chair to beat a 17 year old boy. Jesus. Or the 17 year old boy. At another time, According to the police, he used a piece of board to beat a 15-year-old boy and dragged another down a set of stairs. It, it is further reported that Irene McDonald, 80 year old beat four other children resulting in bruises and a wound to one of them. On another occasion, according to the police, Rashida McDonald physically assaulted two boys. So a report was subsequently made to the Child Protection and Family Services Agency and the police and an investigation was launched and the three accused were arrested. I have spoken about these things before. And, and, and let me tell you the, the potential implications that these things have. To be a ward of state. You can't be a ward of state for a number of reasons. It can be your parents that neglect you. It can be that you're deviant. See? Many times though, behavioral issues are a part of it. Correct. Now, when you abuse these kids and they become adults, they meet the world, you know, brother. They meet people, you know. Mm -hmm. They're cool, you know. So, who are going to end up suffer because of that? The country, you know, we as a people, you know. You see me, I say? Man said, dangerous granny. Oh, cookie, mama. <laughs> ah, cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see? 80 year old. 
eight year old. So why sometimes my grandmother that when, when they take a youth them out of out of their home sometime in a brother. Sometimes even though a situation at their home rough enough. Sometimes that worse situation the they are care them have to choose them. Because some of them stay homes are yeah. rough enough for them. They can't take them from one out of fine pot and into fire. Why not? Okay, poor sis here, sir. And I call it come sixty grand around a food and cast it, but if you want to do that thing, you did it. So, yes, Rasta. Yes, so watch her again now. Clarendon <coughs> man booked for a rape, abduction, and porn involving minors. In the whole heap of things. A whole heap of things to do him. Detectives from the Center for the Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse, mm. Isoka, in Clarendon have arrested and charged a man who has been accused of using social media to lure children as young as 10 years to his home. Wow. The man has been identified as Dwayne Campbell, 35 years old. When you tell me what Dwayne occupation is. Exactly. <laughs> a buck nine maple in Clarendon. He is charged with four counts of rape. Mm-hmm. Five counts of abduction of a child under the age of 16. Mm-hmm. Four counts of grievous sexual assault. Two counts of knowingly producing child pornography. Two counts of possession of child porn. Two counts of possession of child porn with intent to distribute. To distribute. Mm-hmm. Norval is a laborer. Finar, laborer. So when I couldn't read the article, I don't know where. Laborer. According to Sissoka detectives, Campbell is accused of repeatedly using social media platforms to lure children between the ages of 10 to 15 years old to his home, where he threatened them and forced them to perform sexual activities. In many instances, the sexual activities were recorded. During the investigation, it was also discovered that Campbell's alleged victims were reported missing at some time. Somewhere, well, some are reported missing in other parishes, parishes, the police said. Since the development, the Clarendon police have appealed to parents whose female children went missing and may have been victims of similar circumstances to contact them. And Sissoka is also urging parents and guardians to monitor. continuously monitor the social media use of children under their care. And the social media thing kind of hard to monitor now, you know, mm-hmm. especially with this online school business. You know. Teacher? Because you think the child online at school and the child online somewhere else and make plans. You forget the 19 from COVID. I don't disagree with your brother. You understand? I look pint as a matter of fact. How is that? Do I? <laughs> mm. 10 year old. 10 year old. Social media. Pornography. Peeps, you don't have to be careful. You don't have to keep an eye on the youths. I'm a bigger guy, you know, because. Yeah. It is. It, listen, man. No, no, no. It's not real out there. So you really have to, you really have to give an extra eye. You can't real, sir. It's not real out there. Teach you how it's real. Mm. In the past, social media, Lord, pick the left, right, and center old. in. Ten. Ten year old. And not only him a rape and all these things, but him a video. The jailer, them don't beat him to sick as yet. I don't know. He's not playing jail. So, what's your plan? He might do a look at business. It's a business venture in the panel. Because if he have it, he could have intend to distribute it. Sell him or sell it. What? As do I say, if you get the 19 from COVID-19. I tell you, the other 19 said God would have looked down from where and said. God nobody want you. Nobody come to me. Mm. You know what I'm going to do with it. Better we turn away with that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Castration, I say. Jaro, what are you from? <laughs> Cops see stolen vehicle. License firearm holder held in raid. <laughs> a motor car that was stolen from the Sajikor parking lot in Spanish Town St. Catherine was recovered okay. and two men, one of whom is a licensed firearm holder, Never knew. apprehended following the, the <laughs> apprehension of the police. I have said before you know, that many crimes in this country you that involve know. the gun, it is the gun is Where's oftentimes a licensed weapon. Me tell people that you know, but then I listen. Watch you now. Cuff him. With two times, with two before. Uh, <coughs> what can I say? Yes, Scotty, there's a market for porn. 
Yeah, man. Then, Finar, as big people, porn, porn selling. In my divisions since COVID, I have never seen so many rape and carnal abuse cases in my life. I pulled out one from under a seller last week. Uh, and invest, it is true, because as a teacher, um, when we are at school, school is a refuge. That's what it is. I always say we are glorified babysitters. It is a refuge for a lot of these abused children. Sometimes it is the only place where they come, where they feel safe, and they'll come and certain things will be said. I, for one, always take a stance. I'm not a guidance counselor. While you may come to me, and you, a lot of students might feel comfortable to come to me and say certain things. But as soon as you st come to me, I hold your hand, I'm going to lead you through the local fence, carry you to the guidance counselor. Because I don't want to be implicated to say I knew and did nothing. But a lot of these, yeah, a lot of these children are abused and school is the refuge. Therefore, Mr. Invest, when, when school is on lockdown as it is now, the abuse is going to go up because they are now trapped inside their homes with their abusers. Scotty, have this tongue? So I just say, this act. You had a troublemaker. <laughs> it is sad, but it's the truth. Um, abuse has gone up. Domestic abuse has gone up. Not yeah, because, just in Jamaica. Because, you know, normally a couple of them would then, man would then do some money. Tired like, of you. Like, oh, so no. See you too much, me all of you go beat you up. We don't need to be laughing about it. But that's true. But it looks like that's what it came down to. Be because, you know, you. Say, a man could then left on go link in parry them or empress go link yeah, or go link, link in side them piece. or side piece mm -hmm. but the link in this can go on there no movement unless a flight grade <laughs> we have a way that <laughs> flight to go where where yeah, sir. but uh, the abuse thing is is really um it, it really disheartening for true um abuse really gone up in this lockdown time people and and, and to, to be honest you're locked in right you imagine you're locked in no food you're hungry Every problem that the world come down by here, sir. Bills them. So you think about the next set of bills can pay. You do not know where the next is coming from. It's a lot. It's a lot. You're rough, man. And not a lot of persons are able to mitigate and meander through it. Baba and weave, eh? Baba and weave. Let me tell you, say, Baba and weave, me, I don't know, man. And I want to tell you, you know, one of the next implication of this COVID thing, apart from the deaths and the economic, the old, mental. Um, mental. No, for we have a man. I'm not telling you that, sir. Say, no, for we have a man. I walk up and then blah, blah, blah. <laughs> man! <laughs> what do you say? But the way we are laughing, you know. But the truth, we are. Teacher, you this know, thing. You know who I am even more concerned for with the mental thing, our children. I say worse if before this you had a mental issue, you know. If before this you were it's hanging on by your thread, now. If you were hanging on by your thread, then it trend not broke long time when you drop. Mm. And that's why I um even on some of the the social media spaces, you see people reaching out for him, like reaching out and saying, "Listen to me, I am at the very edge." And me need, me need look up something to pull me back from where I am. We have to have real mental issues. And even on somebody I saw, doc, I think Dr. Abe it is. And I follow him on Twitter because I like, I like his commentary. And he must say, we are going to need serious mental health work. True, and we can't say after this because COVID doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Yeah, so we cannot yeah. wait. And somebody said earlier, we have to learn to just live with it. Live brother. with it. Mm. So therefore, mental health needs to be checked on yes and sometimes even as individuals we need to check on somebody reach out call somebody or you do especially if you know the person of a certain little things that have mm. gone from before you check in on the person find out what one man that's why i'm a check point every day <laughs> <laughs> no but but on a serious note no still. you do you know but that's true i'm a check point every day for truth you do. the thing it 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 rough sis. The, the, the COVID situation is as such where and one of the things for me, like I find social media to be so overbearing. Yes, overwhelming. Me leave social media alone. Yeah, the most yeah. me do is me post a little thing on my Instagram and my gun. Or every now and then me so mm. not pan pan Twitter and my gun. But me not so social media it is, is is just a place nowhere. So, sometimes me, me the negativity 
covers you. Mm-hmm. Like it covers you, it burns. It feels like when you ever look up on the sky and the sky is clear and then the cloud just come across suddenly. I saw it feel sometimes like it, it bury you. You're off, man. You have to know now to pull yourself out. Leave it alone. You, I say, as I said to you, I stopped looking at the COVID numbers. Mm-hmm. Reason being, I, I realized that it was really affecting my mental yeah, health. Ans- make it, 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 it puts my anxiety into overdrive. Mm-hmm. I had to make the conscious decision because teacher, n- literally every day, even when um, MOH not put it out yet, me go directly to the MOH site and check it. I stopped because I realized that for my sanity, it, it too much. Social media now me just that, that that is part of my coping mechanism. The idea is just too much thing. You have to leave and some and there are too them. many experts on social media Thank these you days. Very much. And <laughs> fine enough, you, know, you, you are entitled to your opinion, you know. You understand? But you're not entitled to your own facts. Facts are just facts. Facts are just what they are. You understand? Are. And and me just not treat with it. Me just not me just me not be with it. You me. understand? So I do sort of thing. Good night, Miss Jones. How are you? Leave it's it good to room. see you. So make quick make, 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 we talk about some more that as we go along still. So now, um, reports are that between 2.30 p.m. and 2.40 p.m. on Friday. I think this was this article is a little bit old because I scripted for the one stream before now still. A 2014 Toyota Pro Box was stolen. Now, police from the St. Catherine North Police Division said soon after the incident, they got word of the development and launched an operation. Reports are that Jamaica ICC operators were mm-hmm. able to locate the car as it was approaching Angel Stoll Plaza. The Linsid police mounted an operation and the car was intercepted at a traffic light in the time and patient district in Linsid, time and patient. <laughs> Two men, one of whom is a licensed firearm holder from, the, from Linsid, were held and taken into custody. Mm-hmm. A licensed who? Firearm holder. Okay. Saint, um, so the St. Catherine North Division Commander, Senior Superintendent Howard Chambers, said the exercise to recover the vehicle and apprehend the two men was a result of high-level collaboration. But the senior officer said that Jamaica ICC TV system, which was also used, has been reaping good results since... Mm-hmm. Yeah, true, because I've seen a number do. of stories where That's what police has intercepted criminals and so even the, the, the Trafalgar Road situation. See? Mm-hmm. The country should have been shut down from then till now. Yeah, we couldn't deal with that, DNJ. Mentally, that. mentally, brother. Cause DNJ, one of the money thing, money. you know, bro. One of the thing, and 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 I was talking to Scotty about this, I think, yesterday again. That whilst some of us are able to find food, some of us are. Some of us can. Some people don't eat tonight unless they work today. today. We've been said that. So it hard for everything just locked down. So. Because you have to understand that everybody is not at the same place and at the same social and economic level in you know, the country. You know, um, when COVID started in 2020, 2020, yeah, March. Um, I remember I had a conversation with a parent and she said that um, she does ancillary work at a school. Mm-hmm. So school lock, school don't need to clean the lock, it, it locked down and she reached out to me yesterday. She says the first she's working from from then, and now that she's working, she's trying to get the child back into school. Mm-hmm. It's just like a little girl over did help up her. Yeah. Good enough. Her mommy used to sell outside of the school. school uh, and school, and school now keep. keep. So who she go sell to? Yeah, understand. So it it rough, brother. Big up to them police there. Yeah, understand. I'm sure now look at things we go on. We, we have spoken recently about family members killing family members. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me or there is an increased number of cases mm-hmm. where people are dying at the hands of Our their family, family members. members. Really? You know why? There's no love anymore, man. I love you sometimes. But even <laughs> if I go war, I just go beat you, brother. I <laughs> not kill you, brother. <laughs> you understand? Why am I not intend to kill me? Some people have the intention if they get no, brother. Intent to kill me there, man. If, if you shoot, if you shoot, if, if you shoot your brother, you're yeah. not where you are shooting me in your foot. In foot. Yeah, you might just intend to give me a, a one lick and cut, but you want to kill me. I'm not hard, man. I'm not like so hard, man. I'm like sense in here. You are just <laughs> Watch out now. Enough times, that is a part of it. Yeah. Zane. But watch out. Man charged with mother's murder after death blow for blow to the head. Wow. I'm gonna share this before. Somebody I'm gonna share this one. Mm-hmm. But I, I I've I've shared this one before. 
Be, yeah. Well, I, I will because there's some more information now. So detectives from the St. Anne Police Division have arrested and charged a 25-year-old man with murder after he was accused of using a stone to hit his mother in the head. So many talk about that part, but this, some look more detail. The 60-year-old woman, Glascora Campbell, was taken to hospital where she later succumbed to her injuries. Now police said the man, Daniel Campbell of Benin District, St. Anne, has since been charged and reports from the St. Anne's Bay police are at about 9 p.m. on Wednesday, July 28th. So it's been a while, right? Mm -hmm. Campbell and her son had an altercation during which she was accused of during which he was accused of using a stone to hit her in the head. So the police were alerted and the mother was taken to hospital where she succumbed um, on oh, Monday, goodness. August 2nd. So it's been a it's been a minute. On Friday, September 10th now, a post-mortem examination was conducted on the body, and the now deceased woman was confirmed. Well, on the now deceased woman, mm -hmm. which confirmed the cause of death, and Campbell was formally charged with the offence. The court date is being finalised. That is just one instance. Watch you now. See? So I know I did script that mm -hmm. for kind of, you know. Chef arrested and charged after stabbing his grandfather to death. <laughs> Your grandfather? A 22-year-old Trelawney chef, chef and knife, has been charged with the murder of his 84-year-old grandfather. The deceased has been identified as 84-year-old Menachal Stevenson. So charges 22-year-old Victor Newman. He means 22 and named Victor. Then is a problem. Of Wakefield and Quickstep District in Trelawney. Now it is reported that on the morning of September 11th, Newman used a knife to inflict several stab wounds to Stevenson. He was accosted by residents who handed him over to the police. And the lawman said that on Monday, September 13, a question and answer session was conducted and he was charged. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of threat can your 84-year-old grandfather post to you when you stab him up to death? Though? But we're not done yet. One Sister dispute turns deadly. A wall of silence was erected around premises on Little Q Road in St. Andrew yesterday as residents refused to comment on a dispute which left one sister dead and another <clears throat> on the run. The police identified the dead woman as 42-year-old Josephine Martin, but Jamaica Observer sources say she was better known around the Little Q Road and Linders Road area as Tanisha. According to the police, about 8.30 Tuesday night, the two sisters had a dispute which developed into a fight during which a knife was used to slash Martin's throat. Because wow. you cut your sister's throat in the brother. And that people stab your stab right now. Yeah, you, you remember what we talked about, anger? When I seven deadly sins, eh? Mm -hmm. Alright. She was taken to hospital where she was pronounced dead. The other sister whose name is being withheld fled the scene. Now, detectives assigned to the Hunts Bay Police Station have launched a search for the alleged killer who is believed to have sought refuge in a nearby inner city community. Now, the sources say the dispute between the two sisters developed after Martin's teenage daughter, that a Martin was mm -hmm. dead enough, fear mm -hmm. daughter, mm -hmm. Martin's teenage daughter, what there? Right. ran away from the family home in St. Catherine and went to live with her aunt on Little Q Road. So the aunt is a suspect now. Oh. And the child's mother is a victim. Okay. All right. It is alleged that the aunt tried to get Martin to give her the child's clothes. Mm -hmm. But the mother was adamant that the teenager should return to her house okay. in St. Catherine. This led to an argument which ended with the killing of Martin. Invest addict, thanks for the contribution and a bro. Appreciated. Blessings. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. So what I have some questions, but you see mm. my question that's what me I develop. You see? Mm. -hmm. This not two killed, one injured after a gunman attack family in Saint Anne. This is a little bit old, oh, about a week or so ago. You see me? Say I'm family member, we very afraid of. 
Why? Eh, no, me give God thanks. Your family, have, them are. Yeah, me not have none of that. Me not have no family member where, where me fear it away. Mm -mm. Give thanks for that. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Every day. Every one on one where you can lean upon somebody where you can call upon. Me appreciate them. Tell them all the while, say me appreciate them, man. Never a good know family, much. everybody never choose. Yeah, man, never know much. Me know. appreciate them till, till me did need them. Mm. Them rally. A police officer was killed in Lindsay today. Yeah, madman. By a man of. And so on. And so on, man. But that could have been me or you and a brother. But teacher. Or everybody in a Lindsay, you know. Remember when my mom used to work down at school? Um, the thick girl, the man. She did in a Spanish town of work and a man man take a shovel and, and lick her in here some and chop off a piece of her ears. She name. I don't remember her name. She did one of the lab tech. Oh. Oh, I kind of know what you're talking One to. thick girl. No yeah. Way. One man man did lick her right out of Jonathan Grant gate there so with a shovel. Yeah? Yeah, man, with a shovel in liquor. And the shovel chop her. The policeman who was killed during an unprovoked attack by a man believed to be of unsound mind in Lindsay this morning <coughs> has been identified as Detective Constable Paul Gordon. A contingent of police officers reportedly shot and killed the perpetrator not long afterwards. He has been identified as Al Alwyn Shakespeare, who is 25. Young boy. Whoa. Shakespeare has had a violent history of attacking people in the streets. That's what I heard on the news. Oh. Mm -hmm. The incident reportedly happened as Gordon walked along King Street in the vicinity of Sinclair's Bargain Centre, the good old Ori Ori, in, in town. You know that? Like you know about Ori Ori? Mm -hmm. Sinclair Bargain Centre, they call it Ori Ori, man. Ori Ori, I'm a shop, man. You know what? Told me about Ori Ori when I was a boy. And them things cheap, but Ori Ori was like a bashko back in the days. <laughs> yeah, man, one don't watch you, man. Eh? Yeah, man, by Main Street. Oh, no. Ori Ori man, a Sinclair Bargain Center. Yeah, man. Great Ori Ori man. You have to know if you know. Mm, so I'm gabardine pants and then sit me. Which are there now? Ah, boy. You used to buy gabardine pants. I know me used to buy them, buy give me. Then I can't go to school naked. That's not safe. They just wait where you get until you, the, safe you, you reach a stage you know, where you start buying dockers. Okay. You know, when you turn. You know, Grown ish. Yeah, and you start mm. on them girls. You know, you know what I want to go with them? Dockers and Tims and then sit there. Hey, you yeah. did that? Okay. No, I think you okay. can't just live all day life. So. Oh. That's when some catch on the girl with the pants in the dark. And when you walk from Pataki, you got a girl, so that's not even a problem. But I couldn't move on, you know. <laughs> The Jamaica Constabulary Forces Corporate Communication Unit has confirmed the incident. Gordon was assigned to the scenes of crimes you judge her. The yeah. irony in that. Crime scene, he was attached to. I heard that. Was attached, was assigned to the scenes of crimes unit at the Linted Police Station. Now we can confirm that Constable Gordon was killed by the man believed to be of unsound man. And the perpetrator was later killed in, the, in a confrontation with cops. So Gordon was reported walking along the roadway towards an ATM, 6.45. Here it was. Georgia, when he was allegedly attacked by Shakespeare and hit with a stone in the left side of the forehead. Yeah, Constable Gordon yeah. fell to the ground, bleeding unconscious, and unconscious. He was quickly assisted by police personnel, but succumbed to his injuries while being treated at the Linton Hospital. <sighs> Georgia. See, simple as that, eh? just leave him out and, and I eat that, never come back. And probably one of a good police, you know. Mm -hmm. Must leave him out, so. Good, I just have to do a quick look at her and come back home, you know. And then no reach And home probably I just have some money for go and pay your shift. Mm -hmm. No reach home back. Sad. <laughs> when you talk about or or you show your age, that means big man, that means that. A, a, a dog of my age is no puppy, no, sir. So, <laughs> he's a he's big man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, so age. So, if so brother says <clears throat> the, the government responsible for the police officer's death, hmm. because they wrap up the money that should take care of the illness and enter. Brother, in every country, you have people of unsound mind, Every country. So, 
But all right. My, my issue with this is that um, when I heard the news earlier on today, they were saying that it's not the first he attacked someone. Me, yeah, same about history of yeah, violence. So, so that is my issue with it, that, you know, and, and there was a lady that came on, I guess she's from the same community too, she's saying that there was also a female around there too that was doing such activities too. Just yeah. attacking people at random. She was attacked and she's saying, you know, she followed the channels, met the report, whatever, whatever. The, the lady was taken up and went to Bellevue and in a no time. They were, they were, they were she her. was back. Mm. In no time she was back. So she said, you know, it's, it's really an issue. It, it is an issue, teacher. It, it has to be an issue. I don't know, at first, there was, a, there was one where one, one man cut, cut. One police in her face, I think as Paul, in not so long ago, you know. Like, bossy motto. Jaja, hurry, hurry. Now they are watching again. Oh, they're, they're locking down. So, somebody else, what? Teach them a pregnant woman. Baby, baby was, was killed, killed by, by the man. I heard that, but I yeah. didn't hear it in the news. I heard somebody talking, saying that there was an incident where he hit a woman and she lost her child. But I, I am not, it, it wasn't in the, in the news, that mm. was just turning Yes, for now, in a, in a spalling. I think he was spalling. If memory serves me correctly, he was spalling. Somebody <sighs> tell the night there. Good night, New Wave, how are you? <sighs> but it's a problem for you. I'm going to get what DeAndre has said on the left, you know. Enough, man, enough but, people that but, on the but, road would need. No, no. Truth is that. They are, they are mentally challenged people all over the world. I have some of them where, the where their families would have come. And tried with them. Me know that. Me know of kids. Yes. And then still come still back. Still go back. But, but I don't know. Because I remember one time, um, persons from mental health used to come and they used to give them injection and them stuff. Mm. Well, up in my country, me remember clearly. But well, some of them on the street, they can't catch them to give them injection. They used to come give them injection. So I don't know. Mm. Ah, boy, it's sad. Tess, what's going on? Ellie, big up yourself in a moment. Man has a respect in a sis. That's good new wave. I'm glad so, you are great. Mm. So there was a triple murder in Enfield, St. Mary, day before, yesterday or day before yesterday? Yesterday? I think six were shot, three died. Now it's one whole movie. Popcorn. Mark for death. Target in St. Mary triple killing, hunted by gangsters for years. What? The prime target of Wednesday's triple murder. And, and people have all followed this closely because it's kind of twisty and turny. <laughs> the prime target of Wednesday's triple murder in Enfield, St. Mary, was implicated in the killing of a retired policeman and had been haunted by gang enemies for the last, well, haunted by gang enemies for the last two years. Mm -hmm. The gleaner understands. The killing of Donald Westcart, 19 years old, what? has been theorized to be a reprisal attack for a string of murders in the northern St. Andrew community of Stony Hill. The a Fala show. They understand Westcart's twin brother, David, was killed in Stony Hill on August 13, 2019, setting off a surge in murders and shootings. Wanna have a story? Alright. Mm -hmm. The 2019 slain of the twin triggered an exodus of the entire Westcard family from Saint so from Stony Hill, Hill Saint with Saint Mary a source of refuge. Mm -hmm. More than a dozen people have been killed in an ongoing war between factions over a three year span, with many others injured. Yeah, see movie. All right. Mm -hmm. The twins. Reliable sources say were identified among the conspirators involved in the murder of retired police detective sergeant Trevor Williams mm -hmm. in November of 2017 when they were just 15, 15 years old. Watch a movie, watch a show. Williams was killed on his farm in the hills of Hermitage, St. Andrew. The retired cop's licensed Beretta firearm was stolen. All right. They were under the radar of police investigators across St. Andrew North and St. Mary Police Divisions for some time. They were very young and dangerous, 
but built a reputation after their alleged involvement in the killing of the retired policeman. Mm -hmm. The alleged mastermind of the policeman's killing mm -hmm. was cut down by police and another is serving time in prison. A policeman who has trapped the Westcott brothers told reporters. Now Westcott and another deceased from Wednesday's attack, Descanted Dunkley, cha -cha, mm -hmm. were killed while both were on bail for a murder committed in Stony Hill Square in 2020. Yeah, see movie? The third person slain has only been identified as Kenneth. Reports from Wednesday's attack are that Westcott was one of seven people who were at a house in Enfield when armed men entered and opened fire. The four survivors, including Westcott's mother, sustained gunshot wounds and are being treated at hospital. Now, the twins' mother, who was shot and injured, mm -hmm. would, will, will celebrate yes, her 60th, 60th birthday, birthday Sunday ago. Mm -hmm. The occupants are reportedly having porridge for a breakfast when the attack unfolded. What if I come here? The assailants were said to have been dressed as policemen. Commander for the St. Mary Police, Superintendent Bobbitt Morgan Simpson, confirmed that the attack was believed to be a reprisal. Wednesday's attack is believed to have been carried out by men from outside of St. Mary. The cleaner understands that recent killings in Stony Hill are linked to the onslaught in St. Mary. In August, three men linked to, West, to the West Guard faction were killed. We covered that story. Mm -hmm. Senior Superintendent of Police, Aaron Fletcher, who is in charge of the St. Andrew North Police Division, told the Gleaner then that the violence was between the Nooks and Denny's gang. Westcart is an affiliate of the Denny faction. Mm -hmm. The triple killing occurred following the August 2 murder of 57-year-old Dave Beta Nooks at a bar on Brooks Level Road. All the killings occurred during the daylight, with both factions lightening the murders to day rave. A grotesque, what is colloquialism mm -hmm. that characterized their modus operandi, the police have said. What a whole of a big word. Residents of Enfield said that the explosions echoed throughout the hills after the gunmen stormed the premises. McKeon believes a gunman come in at this community and a daylight and kill so, so much smuddy, said Dennis Pick. I don't know if Dennis did no sanction <laughs> television. Him. Who spoke to the cleaner via telephone on Wednesday? He said that the violence shouldn't even read it. He said that the violence that was unleashed was unprecedented in the almost three decades he has lived there. Boy, the place really get hot. It's like the gunman them afraid of nothing. How will you people dead in another look up? Jumbo there. Rumble jumble life, as King Gang said. In this a rumble jumble life. <laughs> Jaja, a stone hill was once a good place, you know. Mm. It's a lot. Brooks left. Beach is out. Oh, Jesus. Further remanded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beach, you don't see Beach, that's the judge. But before I go any further, you see the man in my stone hill and the man in my end field. I talk to him straight up, you know. When you cut out the foolishness, my brother, then this makes sense to him. How many more shall die? How much of family member many them need for dead? To How many funerals do you intend for go to? How much nine nights do you plan for keep? How much tears do you plan for shed? You know, say to the whole of you got dead. It's like you know, on the head. Jaja. It's a poem. I just read for you, dog. Right. It's a poet. Yeah, man. Fearful. <laughs> Beach, where you carry salt like a Elsha beach, a sun sun beach in salt like man, Jagans be a name place there, and Boston and like Long Bay and Hinnis be a name place there, them beach there. Everton Beach is told, McDonald, the Portland businessman who is charged with the murder of his wife and ex wife, is scheduled to return to court on December 9th. I mean, mother birthday that, you know, mm. after he was remanded. Eh. He was reminded when the matter was mentioned in the Home Circuit Court on Thursday. Mr. McDonald, who is now without an attorney, Mr. Well, Hunter, <laughs> was, 
was told to have his legal representation settled yeah. in time for next, his next court appearance. <laughs> See? All right. The businessman was denied bail in June. Mm-hmm. Then I gave none. He mm-hmm. was charged in February with the murder of his first wife. Um, Merlin McDonald at their at her home in May of 2009. Mm-hmm. Zane, Mr. McDonald and another man. Oh, yeah, long story. But Bird Samuels and the next man he was representing. Hold on. Well, Bro, me ask you, I should link you. Yeah, right. But you're good though, you're safe. Oh, you're so unsafe. Mm. Eh. You're not even Malcolm. Me no. Okay. But Bird them I say I just feel bail them him, them did um him did retain them. them. No eh. big case. Right. Cause money I forgot big for all them money. Yeah, yeah but me not take beachy money small. Teach your beachy money good at done maybe. <laughs> We said yeah. no lawyer. Business is strategy used as delayed tactics. Okay, okay, mm. final, okay. But so yeah. hold on, hold on. So if you don't have a lawyer, I'm just asking because I don't know. If you don't have a lawyer, the, the, the case no can proceed. Some people up represent themselves, you know. Yeah. But me but no want wise. me no want represent myself. I'm mean, not a lawyer. Right. What is the what is the outcome of that? Probably legal aid. Okay. Because with like a black man trial, we are but going But we don't want no legal aid neither. But you have some legal aid with good, you know, because you have some legal aid people where we're, we're, we're well trained, you know. But they might try build them, build them, them thing. You see me? Mm. Hello? Where was it, say? Oh, why? Money can't uh-huh. done. No, no, where was it? Yeah, man. Oh, the rose come from. Yeah, man, <laughs> Portland them. side. She do. Oh, yeah. Remember, say, I give me all the Portland rose. Let me just remember. A jam, so just a minute there, guys. But, but, a big money for a TNM and man, the, for an ongoing case. Mm, but beach money not small. Maybe you would have had some say to have money. Beach you have the money, man. Beach you just didn't realize that the man didn't know, so I just say the part that did retain them for. Okay, for now. Jams, collect something from Nakita out front for me now, please. The case has to proceed, uh. the court usually put a lawyer. Okay. Mm. Alright, public defender. I don't think the public defender do yeah, represent them case said the Andrea. Yeah. I'm mostly like legal aid. See? Okay. Yeah, but then we have signed a, a alright, I've made asking now the, 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 the trial that is going on now with the clansman one then mm-hmm. many of them are being represented by legal aid person. Oh. And them about for more money. The legal aid them about some who up here then. The government. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Me, no, forget, ask me again. No, me no ask me again. <laughs> Who paid me? Me are you. <laughs> Go away. Mm-hmm. That's a pay stock to train out a foreign joke, me see. Two police killed, two, oh, where was the other police officer killed, um, Romy? So what you know, speaking about crime and the situation is that we know that it is no secret that many crimes that are perpetrated they are ordered by men who are behind bars serving time dance gangs what have you and whilst somebody will go visit them and then pass on some info most times the orders are made via cell phones is it 2,300 phones seized in correctional facilities over the last year. Their phone they can wipe and get to students who need to go online and go do some schoolwork. A good idea that, you know. I think it would make sense. Because if I use the one online and I guess they, they, they probably search the phones to see what conversations India? and okay. something. Is that a good suggestion, nothing, my brother? So why the phone them and get to use them and them? We need them to go online. Go go online smart, one, one, one and two. The bright, my Every friend bright. Every other day. I'm glad I catch up on that day. Then. <laughs> no, the, poli- the other police, the police who was killing Gregory Park, that today. was Sunday. Yeah. The I, 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 I don't one. know, I don't know if there was another incident there today. Not I haven't I'm heard anything. Not that I'm aware of. See? Teacher police was killed in Almanto. Oh, breaking me. Oh. Oh, so okay. 
Respect Father Romy, Judge of God. Mm. Minister without portfolio in the Ministry of National Security. You know, you know a ministry without no, no. Minister without portfolio, you shouldn't be a Jonah minister. Minister without portfolio in the Ministry of National Security, Matthew Samuda, says 2,300 cell phones. I know phone at all. Were seized in correctional centers over the last year. A one year that I know, really. I'm and sure they, they, have some. Before. they have some from before. No, but when I say they probably not find They're they not going to find all some. of them. Right, so. Samuda, in his contribution to the State of the Nation debate in the Senate yesterday, I think, reiterated that the government is committed to cracking down on contraband entering the facilities. Mm -hmm. He again repeated that steps are on the way to amend the current legislation to criminalize the possession, use, and smuggling of electronic devices, particularly phones, into correctional facilities. I'm going to read that again. I'm going to take strong offense to it. I'm going to tell you why. Mm -hmm. He again repeated that steps are being taken mm -hmm. to amend current legislation to criminalize the possession, use, and smuggling of electronic devices, sure. particularly phones. So it in, isn't now? No, no. Steps are being taken to, 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 to amend. So laws are there. But oh. the laws that are there Gita are very punitive. Right. Okay. But we have long heard that men are ordering X from behind bars. And parliament keep every day. <laughs> them not bench and cuss them one another. Why are these things taking so long to come forth? Because they were not a priority. But let's ask for your friend. I'm on a priority. Yeah, sir. I saw... Uh, where did Check I the brief see? them before. The phone in there. And somebody was speaking about how old the laws are, how old the... the, the to all them be some charges of $100 and like... I hear the commissioner of police said the other day that said... They need to fix it up, man. One of the problems, and the police get the flag for it, is that they do the case. You shouldn't... It. Convict the man mm -hmm. and him get a suspended sentence. So you have gone in. You know? Three months, six months you've gone in. You know? So the police are frustrated, you know. But I would be. Imagine you work months to be like yes against a man. And bill it good. And then when you go before the courts. One year, two years. For some sense some 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 conviction we can get 10, 15 years. You decide him, brother. So enough police left. No. Yeah. Now farm security company are gone overseas. We got the turnover in my police force. High, high enough. Mm -hmm. And I just in education and healthcare. You know? And me always I said, why teacher them cut quick off? Teacher them nasty. <laughs> teacher them nasty. You teacher them will move at the speed of lightning. They nasty for you. This is my thing. We 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 elect politicians to serve us. But we don't know that. I think we have a we have what a mean, different. We don't bring me another. Hold uh, well on, hold well on, hold well on, the man. No, no call me him. <laughs> <laughs> we have a different concept. I think um, we look up on the politician them not as they are to serve us. We said that enough time. But it's like we put them on the next. And we have served them now. And we have served them. Mm -hmm. So it's like you know we forgot say we did put you there. So therefore, if we change our mind, we can take you out. But we don't we remember not, that. We don't operate as we don't operate as such. We, because we don't ca, see watch such. Remember, the brother will come and say, "If I two labor at this, me I look pan." Mm. Therein lies the problem. We don't see it as the such. The moment you say something against the government, you uh, are against a PNP. Any, once, mm -hmm. The moment you say the PNP are party shop, you are, are labor, labor right. right. But but everything everything becomes political. political. Then that is everything. The if rain fall, they find a way to link it to politics. And, and I think it just really driving us further That's down what I'm telling you something about social media again. Because yeah. common sense is a common these days, yeah. brother. We don't and, and we don't realize uh, that, that, that silly view of politics in our head is, is part of the thing we are killed as a people, brother. Yeah. You understand? It's like, okay, you know about the talk because your party did do it. What do you mean? Me hate that too, you see. Oh, oh so you, you, me can't say that party are corrupt because your next party did. Then, oh, it have a fix. What's the fix? You tell me, I don't know. 
Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to finish up this thing. Because some would have reminded his parliamentary colleagues that one of the challenges faced by law enforcement was the use of phones by criminal gangs from behind bars to instruct their cronies to commit crimes. In June of this year, Cabinet approved drafting instructions for legislative amendments to various sections of the Corrections Act and the Adult Institutions Rules to address the issues of prohibited items in correctional institutions. He said that the first phase of the amendment is intended to provide stronger legislative support to security arrangements and controls within correctional centers while facilitating tighter control of prohibited articles being transported and, and watch me but I understand no matter how I secure highly secure the prison is people find ingenious ways to get of things, in. things. Yes. I understand that that is true however knowing that how fast are we moving to try and treat with it some things I will get in but how much and for how long and for how long because you're supposed to be on the ground. So every but every then, time them come up with a plan, you figure it out and. But, but, but part of the problem to see is this eat a food mentality. Not for the water, them complicit with the thing. Not police officers are complicit with the thing. So we we'll go back now to corruption again. Look here, corruption are the biggest problem in the co- Everywhere you look, brother, a corruption, you know? Political corruption, police corruption, education corruption, healthcare corruption. Corruption, 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 corruption. It's the root of all of the problems. <laughs> when you look a bit at your foot cut and it pops up, then you also say your foot your, your cut full of corruption. Can good. I rat me to rat now, brother. I have a piece of that. I become infected. The whole foot I got job off. What cause corruption? Greed! Yes. And selfishness, brother. But the biggest one, greed. As I said, the eater food mentality is, is another issue that drives it. All right. So them find 2,300 phones. Them say them have draft legislation and this and that. So we are going and watch. But I'm tired for watch. I feel like I'm a watchman. Tourist board, cor- Tourist board corruption. All about it. All about it. This is a attack. No. Yesterday news broke that for the first time in Jamaica's history, yeah, I saw a this. female yes, will yes, now head yes. the military. Yes. And if I know one thing, I know that anything that happens, you will have people for it people against and against it. it. I, I'm going to tell people, you know, me see the comments them, a lot of the comments them. Sometimes I just get a reply, and sometimes I just don't want a reply mm-hmm. to some of them. Because sometimes some comments just want to make a lose a little salvation. They believe them. There were a number of comments. Mm-hmm. Well, positive. most comments were positive, positive. Okay. as they generally are. Good. Because we have intelligent people over here. You understand? Them bread like. But you have some comments which are suggesting that a female. Should not be head of the military. Why? Well, and I'm, then I'm not me right me, me not know Because me, me know there is a view uh-huh. that the military is a masculine, macho thing. And this is my thing. If a female cannot become a leader, why? a female should not be in the first then. place. So why you allow us in then? We have had a female prime minister. Exactly. So then why should the military... I didn't know we were still in that... The end time when you read the comments and for that video, there? I mean, no, you know, you're supposed to comment them sometimes. No, honestly, because I think it, in my, in my small mind, okay. in my small mind, or with my small mindedness, yeah, I would have, I would have come to the conclusion that everybody would see this as something, more, you know, positive, yeah. But yeah. I mean, for fool, there is nothing in this world that everybody sees. And it's positive. I mean, four, four. And there's nothing in this world that everybody sees as negative. negative. That is true. The moment you understand and appreciate that certain things nobody bother you. But me not, me not read the comments them not not tell for truth. Not for this video. I haven't looked at the comments. Come know yet, brother. Can you know if me see me not take a one jaw out and dark up myself? Yeah. No, me not take a jaw out and dark up myself. I look at the comments and I'm a laugh. And and this is my thing. 
we have female soldiers. But there are so many female so leaders around. Why there. is it then we are so taken aback that, the fe a female, that a female that is no leader? Female. She would have worked. She would have worked. She, up the oh, one more thing. I didn't say me, uh, rush me to you know. I okay. said that she entered the force when she was 19. In 1976, okay. and she is 48 now, and should have served 29 years. That was an error. error. <laughs> she entered the force in 1992, 19, and she is now 48. She has served the force for 29 years. So she was so, calm. Uno, 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 calm. Me can, if me can do two things, you know, me can count little and me can read little bit. Yeah, son. So, it was just an error. Zin. And, 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 and I'm saying, it is just a matter of how we see things. They understand that. I understand so you will look at it a particular way. However, she would have been in the force. She would have risen through the ranks. Same. She was the first female naval commander. Not only in the Jamaican military, but in the Caribbean. Caribbean. She was assigned to the air wing at one point. She has... So what is this? So now she I did don't this? Know. A lady should run our ministry. Come <laughs> on, department around here. <laughs> First and foremost, congratulations to Commodore Antoinette Wemis Gorman. She yes, would have Congress. served. You understand? And she's serving in the profession that I most love. As many as me say, if I was a teacher, no, I'm not security man, I'm not in the military. Right. If I wasn't a teacher, be a I would be a soldier. soldier. But God know why I'm do still, because... No, why you in it? I'm in a ramp with people. You know what I'm saying? So maybe. But congratulations to her. But what else, what, what else is there to say? She would have done due diligence and is now being rewarded. She, I don't see the she, problem. She was interviewed along with two other senior members of the, of the, of the, of the force. I'm mm, assuming they are male. Mm. Males. You understand? But, and uh, she came out winning. I would love for us to interview her. My her plan story. to. Her story must be lovely. My plan to. Her story yeah, must be lovely. Um, oh, we must have eat a food mentality. Father Dean. Boy. What is that? Oh, we must have greed. I don't think we will ever be able to pay everybody what they deserve. So that I want. And even the pay people they they're deserve. Still, because Fritz Pinock and Rural Reed were making still, millions per year. They still, sir, I got shy screeching. Allegations are that. But we soon come to rural, you know. They still. They're cool, you know. Them still. They can't win. But we, we get to that. So our people have millions. Still find ways to sign now. The other day, NCB. She still get that. She still. Still. still pay herself a couple of years. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Big up to Empress Gorman one day me over me to talk to me camera them. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, then me not hiding either. Yeah. Zin, right now she ready tomorrow, me, me can't me camera them which part she ready to. You see? Mm. No like nobody named Ruel. Kimberly, how much people near Ruel and why you stay so? Hey, it's hey. not so much of a common hey. name. Alright, so well done to, to, to Empress Gorman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sincerely hope that her stewardship Commodore will Gorman will provide will provide growth yes an improvement one. within the JCF and by extension the Jamaican society mm -hmm. because they are played an important well one that was an integral role in the security mm -hmm. situation in the country and her leadership would be one that goes down in history as one of the greatest I, I would hope so yeah, because it would I would benefit hope us so. as a people as a country most definitely alright now <laughs> Benji, um, jobless say hello. Mm -hmm. Um, jobless. Oh, big up yourself. I don't like the name either. <laughs> <laughs> Political party president among several arrested at. Oh, you want you really have to go back for people then? Then I have to share a story with her. Go on, we get take your beating in there night. Run out. Anti-mandatory vaccination protest. Oh, yeah, I mean that. <laughs> that right. Brother. Really again, sir, that they hear good. Political uh, party president seven? among several arrested mm -hmm. at anti-mandatory vaccination 
protest. Okay, all right then. Brother, them Flintstone stone in the comment section. All of that shit, you man, them a Flintstone from my brother. Yeah, I said, yeah, so like you're free to see the Flintstone. A man named Crucify teacher, man. <laughs> Crucify him! <laughs> The man them must say yo, come here read the comments man. And then they say, Shani, five, pick up yourself when I say, so I go on. All is well? It's good to see you man. Five, with vex. Zin? <laughs> and me a look on, and me a say, bo, bam, bam. Them beat you. I teach them a deal with sir. The best believe. Yeah, me a say yo, the man them say crucify teacher man. Give me bar and a bus man. Bar and a bus man. You know what I say? Bust up me a fire. The man them must say yo, brother. You should have known better. Me lose. Lose. Brother, watch ya. The world knows say, a lot of the information that I use to script my video. Me get it from. Media. Gleaner. Mm -hmm. Me never hide that. Observer. Mm -hmm. Nationwide. Loop. RGR. Area. Media outlet. Media outlet. No, me just applying them out because we have to call any media. All media houses. Their head. Cookie say your video. Their headlines had the word anti-vax anti in it. People never say you should have known better. <laughs> it is me that here and I dare for me, brother. Me just a report on a story. Me just a read one story. So watch I know. As me I say, I don't understand how people so sensitive, brother. See? Him? So okay, so fine. If it is mandatory anti-vax, mm -hmm. I saw placards that says no vaccine. No to vaccine. Also, I saw placards that says no vaccine mandate. Mm -hmm. So, and I never said that again. Based on the look, remember, let me just say, I can do two things a little bit. I can count a little read. and I can read a little. Some of the placards said no vaccine, no to vaccine, while some said mm -hmm. no vaccine mandate. It. Mm -hmm. So is it so wrong to say that this in essence was an anti-vax protest? If people then Yo <laughs> if I'm vinegar then give me a drink man. If I said it. And that joke me on my side man. <laughs> Crucifixion man. You know I say, yo. <laughs> ja, ja. Man I say yo brother. Me just go unsubscribe. But again, I don't understand the sense of thing Because I am probably one of the few persons on YouTube who don't give a hoot about that. <laughs> because the truth of the matter is that subscribers come and go. Subscribers go. Mm -hmm. When you subscribe to my channel, you wasn't the first person. Not, when you subscribe, was. people subscribe not after the, you. And not that you don't appreciate it. I just, do appreciate yeah, it. Just, but when you come tell me, say you have to unsubscribe. unsubscribe. As in that for frightening you. I'm not going to lose no sleep over it. So if you have to unsubscribe from my channel, because I say there was an <laughs> anti-vax protest, <laughs> then go ahead, brother. I don't like machine of no views or no opinion. You I just was just stating it. the You're thing. You're just reporting it. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Miss brother, brother, you read the comment, you look up. <laughs> no, I don't get that comment. Me Are you tell me, say, me them bust out your first. Yes, it's true, I don't fix it in interview today. Mm -hmm. I don't get a chance to fix it in the new one, then, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say, brother. But, but here we go, they're long and short. I think story, I want man. me to look like somebody has said, oh, they're disappointed. They never know you, not do that. Do what? <laughs> so I say, do what? I want to have Do what? Can't. Report on a story. Mm -hmm. All right, watch out. And I'm write the headline there. Let me read them. The real headline them. Political party president among several arrested at anti-vax protests. I'm not write that. It. Police going through footage to arrest anti-vax anti protesters. I know you're right. Then they're just the articles there. Brother, teach them. You eat it. You use. You said more than one time. You so read it, read it. Yo, we don't know so teach them a company man long time. <laughs> Yeah, we we know so teach them on a uh, government channel like We like that phrase they are company word. Brother. That's funny. <laughs> teach me, I've shown your hand. Which hand? Where? Left or right? Yo, me has me 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 why I don't even know what watch it. So the president of the UN, um, UN, the the, make sure I call it right, because next year, you just said the United mm -hmm. Independent Congress, mm -hmm. UIC, the third political party, or based on how things look now, 
it could be the second, the second political party. But that's a next story, yeah. Without trouble. Soon. <laughs> Zin, President Joseph Patterson led a protest slash march in downtown Kingston against a vaccine mandate or mandatory vaccination. vaccination as you are free to make that choice. People are saying, yo, it is not anti-vax, it is anti-mandatory, anti-mandatory or it is pro-choice. Okay. See? But what they don't know is that probably the most pro-choice person in this vaccine thing in the country is me. Because I have long said nobody should tell you to do not to do it or to, to do, do it. it. It is a personal decision and only you to make that decision there for yourself. You have said many that. Many times we say that. Said that but many, many, many people who watch the video, they don't really watch the stream now. You know, so mm-hmm. fine. Me, 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 me forgive you. Me forgive for the crucifixion, man. Everything. You say I raise up back. Yeah, <laughs> me good, man. Third day, man. You understand? Come forth. <laughs> Zim? <laughs> a lot of things has been said about the situation, mm-hmm. the police's involvement, and the arrest of Mr. Patterson, and he's now out on bail, okay. and these things, and a whole heap of things. Apparently, the police are saying that no permit was given for they, they a march. For the march. Zim? I think there's an issue with what is being said because some people are saying it's a protest some people are saying it's a mm-hmm. march mm-hmm. so what and then it kind of technical because i was having a detailed conversation about somebody who is in the know i mean i need to state that you understand mm-hmm. and it it you know black and white either seeing m- m- many protests have, have, have started to emerge across the country. There was one in Maypen, there was one in Alpha Tree. Yeah, I saw the Maypen. And, and, and so on. So, so, some, you know, people are going to be up their views and say that the government feels threatened and X, Y, Z. I mean, which is fine. <laughs> May have some views on the situation as I tend to have views on, on a number of things. Zane, as I said, I share with you earlier, so the police said, I said, I'm going to watch the video if you're going to lock up people. And you know how we feel about that. Yeah, you know how we feel about that. You see? I mean, don't tell us, eh, police are left for people them. If they never arrest them the day, mm. left for people them. Zane, mm. that, that, that is my view. But no matter what you say here, sir, you can't wait. They're going to crucify you yeah. again. Anyway, because we have become so emotional and sensitive. The only person who is entitled to an opinion is the other person. Is you. Nobody else is entitled to an opinion. So if you draw an opinion, I know, then a certain way is a problem. If you don't see all me see the thing, is a problem. If you say you all get vaccinated, you are sheep or you are sheep. <laughs> you are sheep. You understand what I mean, sir? The constitution does not say that the person need permit to march, protest ever. And you are wrong, sir. You are actually very wrong when you say that. Zin? No. Without getting into that, you are wrong. So let me just put that out there. Sheep. Sheep. Public Order Act. So let me read what it says about. Because as a teacher, sometimes marches and processions. Mm-hmm. In this part, it says daylight means blah blah blah. Interval between five o'clock in daytime the morning period. and mm-hmm. and su- succeeding six o'clock in the evening. Night means the interval between six o'clock in the evening and five o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. The next. Succeeding day. Mm -hmm. Permit means a permit granted under the provisions of section A. We never really read section A, but said it shall be unlawful for any public march to take place in the night. 
Any member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force not below the rank of corporal may require any person leading any public march in the night or appearing to him to be the leader of one of the or one of the leaders of such public march to call upon such public march to disperse. It shall be unlawful for any public march to take place in daylight unless a permit has been issued in respect thereof. Where any person desire to organize any public march in daylight, he shall at least three days before such intend public march make application for a permit to the senior officer of the Jamaica Constabulary Force for the parish in which the public march is to take place or the commission of police if the application relates to the corporate area of Kingston and St. Andrew. Every application made in accordance with subsection 1 shall contain particulars of the point of departure, route and point of termination of the public march to which such application relates. The hours between which such march will take place and an estimate of the number of persons who are expected to participate in the march. An officer to whom application is made in accordance with the provision of Section 7 may, in any case, refuse or grant the application. In cases where such application is granted, blah, blah, blah. So, long and short of the story. They need a permit. Simple. So, saying that they don't is wrong. That is the point that I'm making. That's all I am making here. <laughs> See? So, I'm just put that out there. Because people are very sensitive. You know what they crucify? No, man, they can't just crucify me, man. We don't, we don't mind that. Zin, but I'm saying, look. If you're going to crucify me, do so with facts. And not only that. Uh -huh. You, I will never, ever come here, sir. Come tell you, say the thing green and it can't blow. Or the thing red and it can't white. I will share my views, but I won't dictate to you my opinion. When I do a video, I do a video from the basis of what is known factually. I do not share my opinions in my videos. When I give you the information, it is the it information is that is, is in the known mm -hmm. and it is what exists. It is what it is. So we are too sensitive. So while persons are going to say we should they shouldn't need a permit, the law says that they, it is needed. I'm not even going to, to get into that. Mm. All I'm saying is that the law. That's what it says. And me done this. Alright. I will leave things to back on that. These things, no matter how you turn it, no matter what you do, you all get some flack and people are going to say this and that. But you know me not care about that. The truth is that, one, you are free and should be, and, and again, this is my view, should be free to decide if you want to take a vaccine. I have said that a million times. I have also said that uh, from the day one, teach I will take the vaccine, I am not opposed to taking, taking a, a vaccine. vaccine. But it will be on my terms when I decide and where I decide. Correct. I will never tell you to take the vaccine no, because, or not beca to because take the vaccine. Even, even as close as we are, we would have had this discussion. I would have said to you, what do you think about it? And yes, you tell me up front, sis, it's your choice. You have to decide you, what it is. When you ask me, say, yeah. only you can decide that, yes, you can decide that yes, for you. Yes, sis, you have to decide that for yourself. So me, you, me sit down for myself and Matt and decide what I'm going to do. However, that said, what I think is lost on people is that whilst Mr. Patterson is <laughs> saying that it is an anti-vaccine mandate protest, separate and apart from that, Mr. Patterson is also using the opportunity mm -hmm. to gain political mileage for his party. And again, that is not something that I would ever blame him for. Mm -hmm. If I was Mr. Pattison, 
I know I'm not screeching for them, man. I wouldn't know the same thing. Yeah, man, I'm not screeching for them. But I, I want to people to understand, and people are failing to understand, that at the heart of this politics. is politics. Naturally. I'll say it again. When you can cross me, me, Billy Cross this time. When you have a go Billy. At the heart of this. Is politics. And yes. many of us, because we are so anti this and anti that, mm -hmm. we have stopped to assess the situation. Just and politics. whilst whilst his motives in terms of the anti-vax thing mm. in many areas is a noble cause and a noble fight the truth is at the heart of it politics it of is politics you know why because he is a, a politician. politician and a politician will be a politician at all times politicians only deals in politics, politics. so mm. many people that has been lost and many because we are now so anti everything. Everything. We are now anti we said that. <laughs> and I've always said we need a third party. We need a fourth, fourth party. Six. We need yeah, a more we have, need more of options when we go back right. and play any mini mining. However, more line. do <laughs> not for a moment think that this is just about Vaccine. vaccination. Mm -hmm. It is not. Can never be. It has to be something. It it has come with something else. See, it, it it and that's all I am saying. Hmm. And if I was Mr. Patterson, I would have done the same thing. Me not just maybe do it in one different way. Like how? Me not sure yet, but more no want it to be this fan feel that it has turned out. To but be. chaos is a ladder. That is true. You know me learn that game of choice, look of finger. Chaos. Yeah, it's thing. a ladder. When you create chaos, it provides an avenue for upward mobility. Mm. Mm. Okay. But make we move on. Make we get the groove on. Mr. Pattison, brave man. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I would hope that he really and truly has the Which countries. Interest at heart and not only push this for political gains but because he believes in it. Mm -hmm. No one left Mr. Joseph vaccinated. <laughs> I did it the geography session, I do a Zoom meeting. <laughs> um, Omar Mills is which baby may get. He <laughs> said, um, Scotty, congratulations on the newborn. Yeah. Then I went in bond. Then me no man. Then you in bond too. <laughs> me no know about it neither. <laughs> Miss Janet Jones and that is perfectly correct. What she said. Say every political party was born out of a need for something. Mm -hmm. True. Can't. And as Mister Miss Jones, I am not. Me not take. Miss Taylor said me not do the same thing if I was him. There's an opportunity. Take it. You take the opportunity. But let us not as a people. Play blind. I pretend that we don't know this that at the heart of this, it is too. politics. You understand what I say? It but is just. Why not find one party? Who? You. You want to find one local party? No, sir. Me mm, not good for you. I, I, so then they tell us the block. <laughs> and I ask the block alone vote for yourself. You can't trick me out there. <laughs> See the M and the upper upper Chinese man of a man differ. <laughs> Spend millions for advertisement, brother. Yeah. I mean, when did have people are pushing? I didn't get no vote. How much vote did you get? You get local vote, man. But less than 500. You get more than Asta? Asta <laughs> won't vote for himself, brother. You know, I mean, I run up a couple of people vote for you. And the next thing, the next thing is this. <laughs> you see, in our politics, you got Jamaica too. Mm -hmm. The truth is. And, it, 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 it's, and the next thing that I should say. It would be interesting at the next election mm -hmm. to see. Oh, yeah, next election. Oh, when was the last? 2020, 2025, 2024, 25. See, in our place, really an early election. See? Suppose the province would be like, you want a new woman date. <laughs> it would be interesting to see how 
sustainable the UIC is. But where were they last election? They them they just found. Okay. Then they just come and if you interview oh, the president. Oh, 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 oh. But yes, man. <laughs> but it never, it never happened. Zin and team. Because I didn't want to ask him some question. Mm-hmm. Zin, but it, it never happened at the time. So it's the same man. The same president, man. Okay. Zin, I don't know him, you know, but the people them were in mm-hmm. a thing, they are lining it up. Mm-hmm. I know, remember. Then they are they they look. If you go in front of that people, them still. Zin? But say, it would be interesting to see if. The support on the ground for the protest carries through right now, to the to, next election. We're willing to bet his salary when we get saying nah, I carry through, teacher. You think so? Yes, sir. But that's salary not waiting. You know? And not enough money we get for salary. So but but watch us. But 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 I make, make get to, but but it's salary not away because the Jamaica Labour Party is a mess in many regards. Mm-hmm. Zin, corruption yes, and all sort of something and them mm-hmm. something there. Many people now are calling into question their management of the, of the, of the pandemic. Because mm-hmm. they bought them to enough time to. Mm-hmm. People frustrated, mm-hmm. as, as you would be Not in sure. a situation Not like sure. this. And, sure. and, 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 and the Prime Minister's approval ratings and the parties has, mm-hmm. has fallen yeah, significantly in yes. some instances. See? The People's National Party. Almighty oh, God. It's the People's National Party. Show they are still trying to sort to themselves out. And you're telling me that looking forward, you mm-hmm. still don't see a hope for your likes of a Third UIC. Party. No. no. So, sadly, but it's the truth. Men I see. So then people there. Earlier on we had a conversation and we said <sighs> that I think as a people we love excitement. Mm. So yeah, so some of the same people that go vote for JLP and PNP next election. Same one, teacher. Same one. So then, in truth same and in fact, one. then we will never really have a viable third party. Then. Me no, so never still cause maybe after my pass and gone it come to fruition. <laughs> but me not see it. Mm. Yeah, man. Come next election, the vote still have a split down between People's National Party and the Jamaica Labour Party. I it's sad, still, I don't know It is, but I don't think it's going to work out. I don't think it's work out. Why didn't NDM survive? Because only two party people there want. Okay. Mm. I would have said him, him say I'm already back. Oh, vacation, okay. Why don't you have a V-word and see his vaccine? You know? have to look twice these days with Mary. Teach them political <laughs> parts, you know, fool. You can't stay there. I don't say I'm a son of chick man vote, so I don't vote for them. You don't have to vote for them. Not even man, woman vote for you, brother. You set up yourself and you realize that one vote you get and then you vote for yourself. That's not funny. You can't trick me. Yeah, and as I was saying, you see, with the, with the, as, when I was growing up, I wanted to enter Politics. representation. Of, yeah, man. Okay. But understanding how politics works in Jamaica, mm-hmm. it not suit my personality. Because knowing me, me got tell us a brother that don't make no sense, you know? That don't make no sense. And they may go vex. It not go work out. So, in order for me to grow in the party, me have yeah. to go lock my mouth. But me can't go see it not make no sense and tell us it makes sense. And I can't go be a part of the organization and see say it no make no sense and pretend say it makes sense. And if it's the Prime Minister, I'm going to say Madam Prime Minister and Mr. Okay. Prime Minister. In that doesn't make no sense, sense, brother. And they're not going to like that. So because of that, you know. They leave you. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to say that him on there, keep taxpayer him need for go, brother. Not and they're not going to go. like that. Not so they're going to go backbench to teach and the teacher is in a backbench business. <laughs> Can't. Yeah, yeah sir. so me, me look a bit brightest. Me can't run a back like oxy business. You see me? So I just I saw a thing go. I mean now nah, I gotta change who me is for political advancement. You know me that's going there then. I mean I'm not going to conform to the norm. You understand? So it don't make no sense. Too much yes man in politics, brother. Oh 
body place, that's why it becomes such a problem. You know, I'm not trouble it. Leave it alone. <laughs> now! Hey, <Jesus>. Now! Lachi. One quarter. This article I read this evening before the stream, mm, I will take 10 to 15 years of hard work to build a viable third party. And whole heap of money, Clive. Mm -hmm. Can you know nothing really happening in Jamaica without money in a brother? Yeah, I forgot. I am being from scratch. Yeah, that's what I mean. I say, I am, and as Mr. Scott, you know me, because you know when we do our work, Madam Principal, that, 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 that not make no sense. You know, we're not afraid, no time. And people now nah, gonna appreciate that. You see me? Yeah man. Attorney General support workplace vaccine mandates. The attorney general. Remember so the attorney general are part of the per, part of the team of uh, uh, job the DRME and then something. Mm -hmm. No, before I wanna get dark and I remember some of and I'm here and I'm missing and I'm gonna share it. <laughs> Declare yourself. Attorney General Marley Malahu Fort has sided with employers who have made vaccination against COVID-19 mandatory for our staff in an effort to show to slow the spread of the deadly novel coronavirus. Mm -hmm. However, she made it clear that the government's stance is that mandatory or mandatory vaccination across the board is not on the table at this time. So what she's basically saying is she that personally, a she not have no problem that with is, it, that's her but opinion. it is not the views of, of the, the government. government. She declare it. I like that. Because she, she a part of the government, you know, brother. Sir, then she don't have a personal opinion? She does. Mm -hmm. but so she's not free you to know, state such an yeah, opinion? You and I will look at it and extricate that from her governmental responsibility. Mm -hmm. But then the man in the street not going to see it. Say, Everything I cover with a white sheet. She is government. So she has a vox. I bet you say, me bet you any money where you want to bet me. Say so there will be a video or video saying that Attorney General said vaccine for my mandate. I don't ask you. I don't ask you. Mm -hmm. All right. The attorney general told reporters she believes employers are on solid legal footing when they ask employees to either take the job or present negative COVID-19 test results at the employee's expense at the start of each week. She was speaking on the sideline of a well, that's not important. I remember also that the president of the Bar Association says that there's nothing in law that, constitution that prevents mm -hmm. an employee, I'm saying. an employer from mandating right. vaccine in the workplace. <sighs> um, teacher, troubling days are ahead. Any which we are dependent on things, troubling days are ahead. Long and short of this day. All right, we can watch her. So, 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 you say you're not taking vaccine. You're going to just lift you up? I'm a bit hungry. Or say, you say you're not taking a vaccine. You're going to pay for it every week? Yeah, get your money from So, whichever way you look on it, you know? No, that's why I say, any which way, the pendulum swing, problem, did it? <laughs> yes, Nicks, buckle up. Put all your life down. Because the truth is, these measures are really and truly at egging and, and, Slightly coercing people to become vaccinated. Correct. Aren't they? Correct. Correct. Because if it's between my work and the vaccine, I might have to take a vaccine, teacher. Because, <laughs> you know, I look at work important. You build them up a peer. And teacher, I have to eat. Light of a peer, water of a peer, internet of a peer. What is that Maybe right? I look though? a roof over my head. If you if you were a business mm -hmm. woman, <laughs> you don't set me up. <laughs> you don't set me up. <laughs> if you were a business woman, so before you even do that, <laughs> let me tell you, say you don't set me up, you idiot. <laughs> Go 
Gue ya fi gue. Aja tep fi fu. Wah, ada bak. Me ya wala reason me ask you a simple question. Then no listen to let me ask come back on street when me pick your question. Well, me they already and and curfew catch me and because me no want to lock me up because me no think prison fit me. Mm. Me I go stay here till the end like but don't worry yourself as 5 o'clock come me gone. Can <laughs> realize it's like I said you are said me. <laughs> you are a good friend man. But it's a, but it's a, it's a question, brother. All right, so we could continue reading, yes, yeah, sir. All right, employers are under duty to ensure a safe system of work. Correct. So think about it. If persons are coming in and putting others at risk, mm-hmm. the employers have a duty. do have a duty to take action. Correct. If these same employees have to interact with the public and the public is going to be put at risk. There's also a possibility, a responsibility to take action, Malahu Ford said, adding that this should also be a concern echoed by every worker. Mm-hmm. The presence of an infectious disease among workers is going to be a problem because if people fall ill and are putting others at risk, all of us must be concerned about that, she continued. With the, vac- with the vaccine said to provide individuals with a fighting chance against the virus, that has claimed the lives of more than 4 million people across so the world. Malahu Ford said she understands why an employer would push for a staff to be vaccinated. I can't see anything unreasonable of an employer saying that if you choose not to take the vaccine, then you also must show that you are COVID negative. A COVID-19 positive individual is going to put others that they come into contact with at risk, Malahu Ford said. Taking the vaccine is medically and scientifically safe from all indications. It's a bold statement still. It prevents extreme illness and hospitalization and is one of the options we have to contain the spread of the virus, the Attorney General said. She noted that if the government make vaccination against COVID-19 mandatory, the announcement will come from the Prime Minister, Andrew mm-hmm. Honus. She stressed that the government has been undertaking extensive vaccination drives across the country as Jamaica grapples with the COVID-19 cases. Mm-hmm. Our aim is to ensure that all persons are vaccinated because that will never happen. It, is, it proven. is proven to prevent serious illness in the event of contamination. Right now, our main goal is ensuring that the doses of vaccine that we have are administered in a timely manner before they expire. Mm-hmm. She said. Madam, say a lot. A lot, yes. Medically safe. Affecting someone's cycle longer, heavier. Yeah, Kerry, you have heard that. Um, right, Kerry. So that is why I said that's a very bold statement. Cha cha. It's rough, isn't it, brother? You see, John is a John Oster. It's rough. It's not it tough. It's rough, you know, the Gideon. But then again, to cap. Why? It's rough. And the thing with this, sir. If people, if the if the vaccines weren't been taken and we were still adhering to the other protocols, the the, the six feet, the the sanitizing, the mask wearing, but boy, where do we go? So alright. Uh, right now, you know, so one look heal up a country, the name George Orwell. The name George Orwell. Hmm. Me not live there, A George at all, you want live? Then me not living in a place named George Old Dog. Sorry. Right. Name me George it then. I want to judge you. One place run a port royal side named Rosie Old. Yeah, me know. Yeah, Rosie Old. <laughs> George Old. Well, me go for yeah, George Old, believe. <laughs> so you go away with a Rosie Old. Yeah. It's a better old that. The old that fit me. Alright. George Old. Man, go on here, man. Which part you live? You know I'm from George Old. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah, Old. <laughs> Funny. All right. Mm. That's a COVID situation. <laughs> no, our next side of the COVID situation is the wearing of masks and mm-hmm. the whole public gathering and them something. Is it? Another piece and and that is the thing. It is it is a little bit over. All right. Doing what I do, sometimes it is just too much. I'm just step back. Mm. 
<laughs> like it just hard to keep up with all the occurrences and development on a daily basis, brother. So me just when when me, when me access to the day, me I say okay. Me I go do two this, videos today the and there. them two story <clears throat> are you done I'm for done. The day? Because it is very it is heavy. You see me? Alright. One of the next things is that now there was a situation in St. Thomas where some people were found in breach of a DRME and they were charged. See? Massive haul from COVID fines. St. Thomas scored collects $4.7 million dollars in one day. Enough money there. A staggering $4.69 million was collected in fines for breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act in Morant Bay, St. Thomas on Wednesday. According to the Court Administration Division, just over 70 persons were brought before the court for various breaches of the DRMA, which is the main legislation being used to manage the COVID-19 pandemic. Some of the persons were hit with fines as high as $200,000 for failing to wear masks in public places. Hmm. $200,000 for no wear masks. There's a lot of money that you're not, not wearing a mask, Scotty. That not catch me. Uh, why is it not catch you? There's a lot of money that. Me have one option. Let me ask a question. Me have one option. Yeah, but watch it. All right, let me ask it. And, and this is a serious All question. Right. I don't say if I Is can. there a situation where masks are handed out to people free of charge by the min on a consistent consistent basis? putting that word consistent in the matrilical area? I don't because think walking it's consistent. around and handing out some masks every other it's not consistent. So then mm -mm. again, these masks must be purchased. Correct. Some but people are struggling to find money. To purchase food. Correct. So isn't it a bit draconian mm -hmm. to charge somebody who maybe because some of them have the wear it all mm -hmm. and now in a mask to charge somebody who can't put food on them table for the mask for, um, for not wearing a mask where them probably can't afford. Correct. That's some you shall If you if you sum it like that, yes. Mm. It's a bit much. It is a bit much. But then again, they don't have to buy a mask every day. They can use the clock mask, all that of person, that's what they turn to. True. You see you see this thing this this COVID thing really um I like the 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 local fissures in, in, in society and the local cracks that exist and that needs mending. And as, as earlier on in the stream when somebody was saying, you know, um, people are not, people are complying and whatever the story is. Um, long and short of these things, COVID exists, correct? Mm. Um, COVID kills, correct? Right. It has been shown that the wearing of masks and adhering to the protocols minimizes your risk of contracting COVID. Yes. Therefore, sir, with all of those variables being looked at, and while I completely understand the, the financial situation of a lot of persons, we still have to take steps to protect oneself. Agreed. At the end of the day, you know, um, <coughs> self-preservation comes first. When you go on the plane, they tell the first thing you must do in case of an event, put on your mask first right. before you render assistance to anyone. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I would want to think that as an individual, you have to seek to protect yourself. And in protecting yourself, you in the long run protect me and the other persons within your family. Mm -hmm. There are still many variables in that. It is. And I, I agree. As I said to you, I agree with you. That there are a lot of variables that exist. And, and, and also bearing in mind that it was never a level playing field. Mm. So because it was never a level, level playing field and with these variables, things get to blow out of hand really and truly. But self-preservation is key. 
But two hundred thousand dollars is excessive. Two hundred thousand dollars may seem a bit excessive, and I agree with might. that. May not even agree, I agree with, with you might. that it see it is excessive. It is, because there are other things I could think of that they could charge two hundred thousand dollars for. Like declaring, and never mind. Fast declaration. Yes, sir. There are other things that that two hundred thousand could apply for that. To. But but to apply two hundred thousand dollars to to just not wearing a mask. Excessive. Hmm. In my humble opinion. And as I tell you, I'm not one of the smartest, so it might not make no sense. <sighs> Some persons were hit with fines as high as $200,000 for failing to wear masks in public places. It is understood that a total of $8.9 million in fines was imposed. Oh, but anyway. They only collect four point right. seven hundred. The high fines have attracted condemnation from several quarters of society. There has also been outrage over claims that a seventeen year old was among those hit with a two hundred thousand dollars fine. However, Kadisha Fletcher, acting director of client services, communication and information at the court administration division, said that this was not the case. He was not fined two hundred thousand dollars. Minors are not ordinarily listed before the criminal court. This only occurs in instances where they are charged with, with an adult, and in those circumstances, a parent or a guardian is present, Fletcher said. So the minor in question was charged and brought before the court as an adult. When his age was brought to the attention of the judge, he was admonished by the judge, and the matter was transferred to the children's court. In the meantime, head of the St. Thomas <coughs> Police, Superintendent Alison Byfield, said that there is a high level of compliance with the RME in the parish. We do get compliance, maybe a 90%, especially in the town area during the days. But the outside of the town areas, areas, like during the nights, persons tend to just let loose. One of the problems we are experiencing is that some persons are hosting unauthorized events. They are taking the hills for it. Oh. Mm. The bushes. And so, as soon and as the police approach them, them, they run all over the, in the bushes. <laughs> we have so far apprehended who we can, and they are now before the courts, the senior cops said. But you know, interestingly, St. Thomas currently has one of the lowest COVID, COVID numbers, numbers in them, mm -hmm. but it is slowly increasing. <sighs> 200 grand. It's a lot. Especially in these times. These are some serious times. PNP activist Karen Cross leads protests in call for a new leadership. She got a permit? I think about 10 people they did it. And it wasn't a march. What was it? Then just go by a place. No, may I be serious? <laughs> she a laugh. Oh, yes, baby, baby. No, but you ask me, I am as seriously and as honestly as I could based on the information that me have. I ask the same questions where you just asked. But I must play devil's advocate, brother. So, what constitutes a match or a protest? You move from point A to point B. Alright. With a group of people All following right. behind you. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, what happened with this? Sir? They go up there and come out of the bus and tap them. So, they, so they move from which part they load up in the bus? Right, but they don't walk along the road, brother. So, uh, that constitutes the march or yes, the process? Yes, you can't march in a bus. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so they have to lock up carry me down, me just a me just a <laughs> yeah, me just a Alright, so you ask that. Fine. I have provided answers to your I have provided answers to your question. No, like a Are you thing. suggesting then yeah. that Karen should be arrested like Joseph Patterson? What I am saying is that if what constitutes a march or a protest for the, the UIC. UIC, if it's the same thing that governs That's this, a good question. You know, that because thing. if it is, mm -hmm. then the same thing should apply. Right. Agreed. Totally agreed. That's all I'm saying. Right. But as you can see, that there are over 300 people with Sir Patterson. So that is what well, I'm saying. about 10 people did they would carry. We need clear definition of what a march and protest yeah, but, but is. Yeah, awesome. There are numbers assigned. If you say, all right, if I'm 50 now, no, it can't I be a I can't match. speak to that. That's a good if question. If I'm 100, I would have dead it's a march. Yes. All right. We can't, we can't talk, though. Hey, hey. <laughs> I also think that 
the, 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 the gathering numbers plays uh, uh, a part okay. in the thing too. But it's a very good question. Okay. I cannot provide you answers. Alright. See? But I don't mean to protest me, I realize it's a funny I beat you again, teacher. Yes, yes. And, the, and, uh, that, and that, that's the headline for the article. Why Floyd Green why Floyd Green wasn't being charged? No, no, no. I mean, no, in all honesty. As I've said earlier, said it earlier I think he should have been charged. Oh, we don't know why. Zine, but I cannot say as to why. But, but let me ask a little question. The march is a field trip. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a geo, man. <laughs> and that, I wonder, um, I'm addicted to geo. I wonder what this one is compared mm. to the other one. Yes, I see the, the, the vast difference between numbers. I get that. Right. So if numbers is one of the variables that determines mm -hmm. if it's a protest or a match, I mm. understand that completely. I suppose Lehman's interpretation of the protest is a stationary thing. I would love some clarity to it, though. Yes. I would, too. I asked the same question. I would love some As clarity As I told you, to I was speaking to somebody who has an understanding of the laws as it relates to these things, and I asked the exact questions that you were asking. Um, was clarity provided? Not fully. You know. So I am not in a position to say A or A. I'm just a bit. A troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> no. Finish reading the article because we like this. PNP. <laughs> PNP. So I'm ask you a question and you answer yeah. it. Oh, you say yes. Yeah, man, say PNP you. activist see, Karen Cross leads protesting call for a new leadership. People's National Party activist Karen Cross and five others staged a protest outside the chained gates of the party's headquarters on Old Oak Road in St. Andrew. So they look around. They're demanding a change of leadership. They're not so they're not opening it. I tell you what go on. I want that. And they're like, he's a gatekeeper? He's a gensec. He's a gensec. So she never knows that he's a gatekeeper? I don't think he was at the gate. The gate was just lack on no, the arrival. But but in in the aspects of say yes, it's not in, it's not in the gatekeeper up there. It is just the jet like, sector. Everybody know that, so she must know that. So she never match it. So she, the man met Say now nah, met Elatarin. Okay, they mean where she match it, miss. Oh, me not match that. Me like that. Me match that. Still, oh, yeah, that me not get no But me don't know if she feel no way to then Elatarin either. Me not match your set. Then should I let her in still and deal with it inside? Kinda look good on the outside. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, no, for. No, that's what you're saying. Yeah, man. But the, the, the situation, what they are saying, what, what they mean you're saying in an interview that I read, an article, that mm -hmm. there are internal mechanisms within the party to deal with, to deal with things like this. Yeah, never need to so, whichever way you take it, whether out of road or in there, it's still out there. Yeah, but, but, but sir. Just see her come on my case, let her up my gate and let her in and everybody and lock it back and lock out the media. And you and her go in a room and talk about it. You're mm. not good for your ear, you dirty Miss like this. Yes, you should have lock up your back and discuss in a back, 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 back room. Mm. <laughs> we, we, we can read this. Alright. We want the resignation of Mark Golding and Dayton Campbell. Right, it. There is no record to show that they have made a very honest and humble, fruitful and trustworthy effort to unite the party, Cross asserted. Mm -hmm. Noting that she is not promoting any party member, mm -hmm. Cross said the PNP needs a leader who is capable of bringing all camps together. So who is that There is leader? no leader in the party to do that. You have to tell her why? Because every party in you know, the party aligned to one faction. Yes, everybody. Everybody aligned to mm -hmm. So if uh, this man indeed aligned to that man, <laughs> and if a that man did a line to this man, so the truth of the matter is that there is nobody there who is in that middle ground or we say we know business with rise no, we are one. Mm. We in our middle, yes, so I eat that. All right, so we could continue moving. Okay. All I want is for the People's National Party to get back some relevance. They really want no. that for you, still remember that. They are relevant. Oh. Eh? Oh. Relevant puppy show there. But Scotty, in a democratic society, we can't look. No, we have we, come to that. We agree no, on that. We will take it for joke tonight. So we need the we need we need the PNP party to balance the thing. We need some form of balance. Right. So we need an opposition, whether it be PNP or JLP. Uh, it is relevant to have an opposition. So them need to sort out themselves. So I think can come around again. 
All I want is for the People's National Party to go back to get back some relevance and to show Jamaica that we are an opposition party preparing to run this country again. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are unable to prove to, Jama to, to the Jamaican people that we are doing that, she said. Cross said her intention was to stage a peaceful protest and accused the party leader of organizing persons from his constituency to show up at the protest and have the gate closed. Okay. More than a dozen PNP supporters, some clad in hats and shirts um, with Golding's name on them, were on the grounds of the headquarters. Oh, oh close so, inside. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Our focus has not changed. Gate lock or not. It is clear that Mark Golding and Dayton Campbell want confrontation, which we are not going to give them because we are here to peacefully protest the Mark Golding led administration, Cross said. Just over 30 minutes into the protest, Councillor Eugene Kelly opened the gates, inviting Cross and her protesters in, but oh, she declined. Cross said she was not concerned about the handful of people who turned up to protest alongside her. I don't care. As I said from the beginning, I will be here, and if five people join me, that is fine. Cross said, adding that the number of people will not change the weight of the message. Now, PNP Gensec, Dr. Dayton Campbell, refuted her claim. I should suppose this should be public claims. Arguing that the gate was closed for crowd, crowd control purposes. <laughs> well, boy, so I read her. <laughs> that the gates were closed for crowd control purposes as a protest was mobilized via the media and social media. Oh, so they were expecting a crowd? Based on this. So they closed the gates. Okay. Okay. We don't know if the mobilization would have gotten more support than it had actually gotten. Mm -hmm. It's a slight shade. If they had brought a bus of persons here, should we just allow th those people to come inside and have the people pack, the place packed with persons? No, that wouldn't have been wise. So the, discu the discussion yeah, was that in order for us to control the crowd, we would limit the gate to just pedestrian traffic, can be explained. He added that vehicular traffic was restricted to staff. He would be proud. Campbell maintained that Cross did not use the internal channels available to communicate and that the PNP leaders came prepared to invite her and the protesters to conference room for a discussion. Okay. The constant internal fighting and tearing down of each other does not add anything to the process. That is true. I think the people of the country... Even those who are not sympathetic to the PNP are beginning to get frustrated. Beginning to get frustrated um, by it because the laws for the government to go to go on unimpeded, and for them to almost become arrogant and do whatever they want to do. Adding that the opposition has to take a serious decision about the path it wants to pursue. Campbell said, if the PNP wants to be viable, it must work towards unity. And the General Secretary said, decades of problems cannot be solved in a matter of days, as it requires long, committed work, as well as truth and reconciliation. That is, you see that last word? Yeah, but suppose there are irreconcilable differences. Then we agree to disagree. Okay. That's just, it, it is as if it, it's a family, no, sir. And everything with somebody in you know, the family do you have to agree with. But at the end of the day, you are a unit and you have to stand as such. Therefore, you put it aside and we stand together. Mm. So if we are a unit, we are a unit. And, and as, as much as it might be cliche, but divided, you have a fall. There's no if, but or maybe about it. Mm. So if they want it, this thing to work, they have to reconcile. Some reconciliation have to take place. We have to de they have to decide, say, all right, this is what it is. We have put this aside for the betterment of the party. But until such time, we have all this, you get a good luck. A party that every other person wants to lead cannot survive. Because everybody can be a leader, teacher. Some of we have to follow. So, sir, some of us are leaders, well. some of us are workers. We are followers. We are worker ants. A queen issue the orders and 
the work has carried out. And whilst there are some people, even though they don't want to be leader, if the person who them don't want to be leader, and the be leader, leader them not follow. And then the next thing is that um, it needs to be recognized that every role is vital. So not because, you know, they are the front in the limelight. It does not mean that your role is not vital. Make one lightning now to the very insect, to a bee, mm. to a hive. There's only one queen. In any hive that there's two queens, there's going to be a problem. They're mm. going to fight. Therefore, the whole purpose of having the hive gone, because there's no only production. Right. So you, have, you can only have one queen in the hive. Coming down from the queen, you have the jewel. All males, the only purpose is to mate, nothing else. Good purpose, though. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by the drone, you have what we call the worker bee. Mm. They would be the lesser bee in, in your mind. Right. But yet still, at them carry out some of the most vital functions in the hive. So not because you are the worker bee and not the queen bee, you feel say you're not important. Mm -hmm. Your role is important wherever you are. Play your role. Do what you ought to do. Contribute to the betterment of the unit. Agreed. So until them figure that out, that them is a unit, there must be a queen or a king, there must be drones, and there must be workers. And now go figure out what going until that time. So each of we have to go play with role, play with function. Me might be a little worker be, but at the end of the day, if I don't work, the queen does not eat. Mm. So my role is still important. Well, Queen Bee, make we see what it shall be. They need to sort out themselves. You see, I'm gonna say, um, this is not a story. And 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 it, a long time you said, for you. I mean, uh, address it. You see? Mr. What Sir. What is not a story? The, the PNP protesting. Okay. Mr. Sir, we live in a democratic society. And what makes a democratic society a democratic society is the availability of options and political options. Mm -hmm. We are seeing where one of the country's two major political parties is a shadow of itself. And that doesn't augur well for democracy. the people of Jamaica and the democracy. Because with a weak opposition, it means mm. that the government becomes stronger. And Mr. Andrew Olness, as I have pointed out on, a new, on numerous occasions, as a matter of fact, I did a video that in that video I suggested that the Prime Minister that we have today have dictatorial tendencies. And the government that is as strong as is numerically has the power to do certain things whilst an opposition sleeps. So if you don't understand the tenets of politics, sir, sometimes it is best not to say something. You understand? So I hope that lesson is well received. Just a teacher in me. It's more time we just talk for talk sake. And that kind of annoy me sometimes. Voter apathy swells. We spoke about that earlier, mm -hmm. that many people within the electorate, right now, they don't vote for the PNP, they don't vote for the JLP, because, you know what I think of? The slump in favorability of the government, of the governing Jamaica Labour Party, and the opposite, and, and this is it again, watch this. Mm -hmm. The slump is not only for the government, you it's know, for the, the other, slump for the is for the opposition also. as well. So, two of them are down the so if you as an opposition, while there's a slump for the government, it should that mean that you get some traction? You should have a decrease in a popularity too. If the gov if the if the ruled, ruling government decreases in popularity, the opposition should have been increasing. You should have gained favor, you should have mm. gained traction. But Cookie, those tendencies were unsure from before the PNP descended into anarchy. Which is a fulfillment of the Bible. The slump in favorability of the governing Jamaica Labour Party and the opposition People's National Party has been blamed on their inability to rally their bases, seasoned politicians have said. While the JLP continues to hold a sizable lead 
over the PNP, despite uh, the mismanagement of some aspect of the COVID situation, despite the numerous scandals. Because yeah. we soon come to a scandal back in on. You understand? <laughs> despite yeah, all of those yeah. things, the Jamaica Labour Party is still, is still a very popular government. As much as this is pick, I'm, 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 I said this theory recently, as I smell it, I know I said it to somebody. As much as this is people out there, I said it in a stream last time, saying things and bro got this and bro got that and Andrew this and Andrew that. If election call a man, most of them go vote for him. Again. JLP and you understand? All right. So it says while the JLP continues to hold a sizable lead, how much more? A sizable lead over the PNP with 26% of those polled indicating that they would re elect the current government. The 17% for the opposition both saw 11 and 8 percentage point declines in favorability, respectively, over the one year period. You know, this is the Dan Anderson, Dan Anderson poll commissioned poll. by the Gleaner. Mm -hmm. Zane, um, yes. I go in and all of the figures, figures, figures. Mm -hmm. as, we ex as we said before, that based on the, the, the turn that the, the, the pandemic is taking, and the frustration that exists. Mm -hmm. Many people are frustrated, especially with the government. But also, on the flip side of that, many persons are frustrated that the opposition is non existent. It's not a viable option. So, 6 or 1, 7 or next. You have to add one, guys. <laughs> you know what you How do you see what you say, Bia? You think that way? You understand? If you feel like the government is inept, incompetent, you should, and you want to you should, you should be able to you should you be should able to have an opposition that you a can. viable yes. opposition. Yes, you should. You should. You most definitely should. It shouldn't be that you're not black man must teach them U I C. Maybe in the long future, but yeah, because then the U I C they would have to prove themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? They would have to show that they have the guts and the gall to treat with certain issues. Correct. You understand? They would have to have some representatives in parliament to start. It would be interesting to see if they manage to win a seat in the next election. I mean, no, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, speak to that already still, but mm -hmm. it would be interesting. It would be. It would be interesting. You understand? It would be. Yeah, so that are the situation. Um, people frustrated. That are the, the long and short of the story. People frustrated. So, frustration is not even a word to describe it. Does it mean? So, why? It's rough. Marcia is it's saying. I, I see the comment, Empress Marcia, say, oh, only Jesus can save you. Marcia, I tell you, so Jesus look and spot we and see how we stay on him now, please. Mm -hmm. Not please at all. The Andrea said thirty seven percent of the electorate voted mm -hmm. in the last election. No, 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 eh, no, but then no. the food for that. Why there's a people there vote? vote. Mm. As long as people vote, people vote, you know, so this is what it is. I, I like this. Um Russ for that. Enigmatic. Mm -hmm. I like that. Ecclesiastic 6 verse 7 If thou wouldest get a friend Prove, prove him first, first And not be hasty to credit him. him I think he's making reference to the UIC Yes mm. And it's a very powerful That verse is a very powerful first oh man, I first. suppose that the UIC would have to mm -hmm. Build a first. foundation And, and pay them It might be a classical case of swap black dog For black monkey mm. I'm a prefer dog you know we prefer monkey, me have dog already. Me never have a monkey. <laughs> Give me a monkey, make me play with. I'm just saying, I wouldn't want a monkey as a pet. Me would want a monkey as a pet. A Why you wouldn't want, want a monkey as a pet? For no. Why two ugly people in finance and us? <laughs> well, me, just like our best, let's want baboon. Baboon. I want That's a monkey. That's giraffe. I want you know, a monkey. I, I, I want to bring in exotic species in our country. The Libya alone want a monkey. Africa, cars, some invasive species if you start to cover yes. thing and, and some diseases. I want a monkey. I prefer the monkey than the dog. Feeding tree. Connected parties to boards and staff profit in nutrition products. Whoa. Spending spree. Yes. The Auditor General it's finds. The next scandal that coming at us. Scandal bug, man. Nutri scandal. Nutri. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Who is the auditor general? Pamela Monroe Ellis. Very affable lady. Who was it before her? I don't remember. Okay. She has been for a while. Okay. Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis has urged the Ministry of Education. The Ministry of who? Of where? Of what? The Ministry of Education, Youth and Information to immediately call for a full call for a full disclosure of all existing contractual and transactional arrangements mm. with concerned parties at nutrition products. The Ministry of Limited, which is NPL. Mm. Yes. After it was revealed that a former chairman ignored fiduciary responsibility and duty of care. In a performance audit of the NPL spanning 2015 to 2021, six years, the Auditor General reported that NPL paid $143 million to companies and individuals connected to board members. Let me tell you about boards. To board members and management staff to provide transportation, repairs and maintenance, sanitation and other services. Mm-hmm. Monroe Ellis said that a connected party was an individual or entity closely associated, whether directly or indirectly, to the MPS directors or anyone discharging managerial responsibilities. Nepotism, cronyism, ism, and schism. It was reported that the MPL paid a distribution company $69.6 million between November 2010 and January 2021 to, provi- to provide transportation and haulage services. $70 million in a family. Our investigations revealed that the registered owner of three trucks used by the distribution company was an investment company of which the former board chairman is a director and shareholder, the Auditor General disclosed. The former chairman served two tenors as on MPL's board from 2007 to 2013 and again from 2017 to December last year. We noted that payments to the distribution company stopped in 2013 when he stopped up. When he never depended, let me say it again, can you follow you now? He was, he served two tenors, 20, 20, 2000 to 2013. Yeah. And 2017 to 2020, yeah. watch your maths. We noted yeah. that payment to the distribution company stopped in, in 2013, 2013 which in coincides to when it did stop the NIM first tenure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see the maths? When the first tenure ended and restarted in when? 2017. 2017. When what? When he come back. Okay, can I read you now? Of note, the distribution company received delivery routes with the highest rates and was the only knowledge contractor assigned to perform shuttle services resulting from decision to centralize the distribution of meals to schools from the Kingston plant, Monroe Ellis highlighted. The chief guardian of the public purse argued that the risk of conflict of interest increased in a context where the former chairman was involved in the decision to centralize the distribution process. So the man has sought out the thing for what? Benefit himself. I like other here, you know. Based on the Auditor General's <laughs> assessment, the decision to centralize the distribution process turned out to be a costly option for the NPL. In another hair raising development, the Auditor General identified cases in which NPL ignored the procurement rules of fairness, mm-hmm. transparency, accountability, and competition and bypassed the procurement process altogether. Mm-hmm. Me never need Pamela to tell me this after me read all of that. But alright, thanks Pamela. When auditors examined the NPL's payment files, they found that the procurement manager in many instances did not play an active role in the procurement. You as a procurement what? Where is our? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 
procurement observer. Is a pro- yeah, it's that. Because you cannot be the manager. So, how oh, is a procurement manager you know, playing a role in procurement? Yeah, no, procurement. <laughs> Did not play an active role in the procurement of services yeah. for the repairs and maintenance Mercy. of plant machinery and buildings. We found 70 instances where service providers invoices totaling $13.7 million predated the requisition. <laughs> predated predated the requisition and purchase orders indicating that the work was executed prior to authorization like you know so I go on, yeah, so. mm-hmm. the auditor general noted that the procurement manager's involvement in the process was limited was limited to signing the purchase orders which were prepared after the service were already provided in these cases, NPL did not use a normal control procedure for a requisition to be authorized and submitted to the procurement unit to source the suppliers and raise the purchase order. While related party transactions are not prohibited by law, the Auditor General pointed out that these transactions are likely to create potential conflicts, conflicts of, of interest. interest. Correct. In this regard, Monroe Ellis contended that it was necessary for MPL to manage the risk by ensuring a greater level of due diligence, including mm-hmm. strict adherence to procurement guidelines, yes. the demand and demanding ethical requirements for full disclosure to demonstrate openness, yes. fairness, and transparency, transparency in the engagement process. The Auditor General said that she expected the Board of Directors collectively as well as its members individually to exercise a duty of care in keeping with its fiduciary responsibility by making decisions in the interest of the MPL. However, she said her audit found instances in which the MPL breached the procurement law in the way in which it engaged service providers. Further, Board members acted contrary to ethical standards and fiduciary fidu- <laughs> responsibility by failing to disclose connected party relationships. Mm. But no due diligence was done, so them no. Yeah, you understand? Another issue flagged by the Auditor General was that the NPL relied on external service providers to carry out routine repairs and maintenance of its plant and machinery instead of utilizing its internal maintenance mm-hmm. technician. In one instance, NPL paid an individual $49 million between 2017, 2018, and 2020, 2021 to undertake repairs and maintenance work. Mean at the wrong profession. Many of which should have been performed by its internal yeah, maintenance, 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 maintenance technicians based on their job descriptions, the report said. The Auditor General found no evidence that the MPL assessed the cost effectiveness of using external service providers vis a vis its internal maintenance technicians to ensure it received value for money. Monroe Ellis commissioned the audit of MPL against the background of the adverse findings from the findings of the 2012 audit, coupled with recent concerns about MPL resource management. The audit reviewed four key areas of MPL operation, production and distribution, procurement, quality standards, and strategic oversight, central to achieving the mandate. Hmm. You want more? Mm-hmm. Nutrition products HR manager only had six <laughs> GCE subject <laughs> audit yeah, fans. From when? In a damning report on the management and handling of taxpayers' money. Your money and my money. Some yeah. of my money, I listen. Now stop here. At Nutrition Products Limited, Auditor General Pamela Monroe has found that in August of 2017, the public body employed a human resource manager who only had six subjects at the GCE level. What? The Auditor General reported that the position required a Bachelor of Science degree Why in social care? sciences with at least six years of work-related experience mm-hmm. uh, at, middle, at a middle or a senior, senior management, management level. Makes sense. You couldn't get a job with that. You know, your degree in a really um, bachelor of science still, but... I mean, I know social science. Right, but... 
You know, Agrian. Agrian what again? Envy. Envy. But there are six subjects they have. You have a degree. What do you mean? <laughs> Watch it. Make a move. Huh? GC, not even CXC. Me that wait for somebody to bring it up. I never want to bring it up, you know. The report which covers the period 2015 to 20, yeah, we know that it was tabled in Parliament. In a performance report, Monroe Ellis revealed that the entity's recruitment and selection process was not always in line with its employment and recruitment policy and circulars issued by the Ministry of Finance and Public Service. The Auditor General reviewed that the recruitment process for 12 managerial staff and identified that the agency did not advertise the vacancies for five positions mm -hmm. to ensure that more, the most suitable individuals were and it. people all the way have a qualification and I'm now working a brother. Alright. In eight instances, the state body employed individuals who either did not meet the minimum qualification or experience required for the position. The Auditor General reported that the human resource manager stayed in the position up to March 31st, 2020, and would have presided over the employment process at the other in of the other individuals who also did not possess the required qualifications. Don't tell me, don't stop. Further, the agency applied payment terms to 13 individuals in a manner contrary to the staff orders for the public service, resulting in unauthorized payments of 4.1 mil. At December of 2020, four of these individuals were engaged at a higher at higher grades in the salary scale, with no evidence of the special circumstances which would have influenced its decision or approval of the board or finance ministry. This resulted in unauthorized payments totaling one million as at December 2020 at a 5.1 million. Yes, They don't go to school for if we can't get them job with just GC. Nobody then, never. And we have some time go to college, man. Nobody never tell you. We don't know about that. We don't see if some have money. We couldn't start my life different. Because she was going to look at CX and get something. I don't make no sense when it was done. Not that I'm saying um um at this subject make you No, we, we couldn't say that. We couldn't say that. But it's the requirement. So make we even say you're going with that. You know upgrade yourself? You should have do something while you're in there with that. You understand? Do you want a diploma? Do something. something. Something related to what you know them want. Do some certification courses do then. Try to upgrade the thing. Make the thing look better then. But you're comfortable, you you earn. Then you're not no concern. If you make that the money, then you're not comfortable too. No. Speaking about corruption. Hmm. Yeah, go on my bed. <laughs> put I think you're ready to be saying, I don't know. I put on my leg. <laughs> but I don't mind letting it come here, but it's significant. But I remember that tomorrow if you're not here, you know. I'm not going to do that for next year. Five more years. Give me just five more years. Put me on a job. Five more years. Me and Fred can't go Five more years is all I need to make 20 odd million. The wicked man, man. No conscience. Unconscionable. No sympathy. No pity. Deacon. Well, I figured that. <laughs> Five more years. We do not know that. Five more years. We do not know that all and still get here. But in can ask her. Ask me why. Why? Because your friend never gave him. <laughs> ask me again. Teacher. Me really, I sit down and wait in the car, me have to go cry. Ask me why, why I ask her. Why? Because your friend never <laughs> gave. <laughs> you think that you're going to cry? I'm going to tell you the truth. And if you cry, I'm going to slap your car, you're a fool. You should know better. 
Finger him, you not cry, teacher. Oh, grieve, shall leave when they pan. Now, where am I get? No, where am I get? How much million dollars a year? Yeah, Ask me who gave the prime minister. Ask me how. Because the prime minister they take responsibility for the ministry when he fire him and he resign. Okay. And I am granted. Ask me, man, the prime minister. Ask me. Ask me, Ask me the man, the prime minister. Ask me, my cousin. I don't know about that. <laughs> Box that you have to tell me. Ask me now. They're my wife. They're my friend. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> so, oh, you know, brother. <coughs> oh, you know, sir. Because when Andrew was Minister of Education, Rural Reed was him advisor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You tell me what you want to know. Tell me what you want to know. Tell me what you want to know. Teacher, I want to say 95 years. You want to say bet? Teacher, I think it's a good thing. You want me to tell you what I'm getting? No. Okay, alright. Teacher, I think it's a good thing. I'm going to get you a good thing. Rural Reed eyes $23 million payday with extended leave till 2026. Teacher, that who is it now? Teacher, how much civil servant now go on with nothing? You know how much that ain't crucified teacher say with the online and now do nothing? So we don't forget no periods, sir. And this gentleman asks him... Drink away. Five more years to do nothing at and all and call it kilo. And man, we wouldn't even suggest this gentle, sir. Gentle Jesus, meek and mild. Look up on this greedy child. Five you know, something not take nothing personal, but you say this, <sighs> anything related to this story, me take it personal. You know why? Ask me why. Because the man was supposed to be one away. The man is a career educator. Correct. The man was JTA president. Correct. Then when the man get a chance to fix the problems in mean, the education system, the man threw you under the bus and said we are extortionists and we are criminal and we are thief. But I himself in the daddy scram. Hey, that funny. I take this personal. I not take no running the channel, I take not nothing personal. personal. This me take personal. You know why? Because I have struggled in the education sector for years because of lack of resources. Because still a struggle. Still a struggle. Still a struggle in there. Still struggling. Still struggling, struggling. Bobbing and weaving. And five years in my answer. Why me, not even two? I take it personal, but. Five years. A full pay. Why you can't get half a pay? Brother, you man, if you ask me nothing. Even if you ask me nothing. Leave that thing for you get. So the, the, <laughs> yes, the pay, Harry, I know very much right. So the pay is, the pay, this pay will be as, as JC principal. principal. And one next month up there, get pay as principal. But how long does the second last for though? Yeah, brother. So, so, so the contract when the panel was supposed to end was in November, this year. Yeah. You want a 2026 20, man I look for. Why? So You know how much money it has add up to 23 but million dollars. But if the contract dollar. ends November, why why not terminate you November? You might look at extension, you know, see? And what grounds? You can't get it? I don't even want to read it. No, no, figure, figure, but, but not donate it. Figure what? tell me, yes. All right, watch it now. All right, watch it. <laughs> Embattled former education minister Ruel Reed has applied for an extension of special leave from the Jamaica College until 2026. He had originally been seconded from the St. Andrew High School for national duties in 2016. Hours after the incumbent minister Fable Williams told Wednesday's post cabinet press briefing that the government was seeking legal advice on how to proceed. The Gleaner learned that the administration's quandary may intensify with his August 2 application to the Jamaica College Board. They're not going to me. 
You want to bet? The boy not going to be teacher. All right. They're not going to Responding to questions at the briefing, William stole the gleaner that the ministry was still awaiting a response. So, of course, considering the sensitive nature of those issues, what kind of nature? Sensitive. sensitive. We would have sought legal advice as to exactly what is the direction and what should we do. Mm -hmm. At this moment, we still await the conclusion of that. And so, we would not have anything additional to report this morning, said Williams. Mm -hmm. Should this application be approved? Uh, let me read that slowly. Should this application be approved? Ruel stands to make $23 million more than his current annual salary of $4.6 million. Reed is being paid a monthly salary of three hundred and eighty-eight thousand two hundred and seventy-seven dollars sixty-seven cents. His current leave. Let me tell us it will expire. It will done. November, November twenty twenty-one. Not the next month after. Let's see your hurling apply for extension on August two. One day for independence, emancipation. And he man now emancipate himself from being foolish. unconscionably, you know, brother? Me no, me no, me no business who to take this, me take this personal. As a man who have devoted myself to education for over a decade, me take it personal. I will continue. Five more years. Taxpayers are financing the salary of Wayne Robinson. He's the principal up there now. Mm -hmm. Not no, no fault of his. Me no, not with Mr. Robinson. No, 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 who money. has been acting for Reed since 2016. When Reed was seconded from JC to become the Minister of Education, Youth and Information under the Wellness 2016 administration, he resigned in 2018 after allegations of criminal misbehavior surfaced. Mm -hmm. But that fell happened to the Prime Minister too. I'm going to tell you why it happened to him too. There were probably more than enough people within MP ship Forgive. to become Minister of Education. Forgive. But he must reward him or him friend. The advisor. And them things that happened to them. It's sad, man. Which way are you now? wife Sharon and his daughter Sharon. Yeah, he resigned in 2018 after allegations of criminal misbehavior surface. Who, who may just tell you? The Prime Minister Andrew Olness assumed responsibility for the portfolio before him gave Carl Samuda, poor Carl. <laughs> Me was a beat up Carl, but yeah, it wasn't Carl's fault. <laughs> you understand? Poor Carl. Zin? Yes, the Andre has been that long. Continue Jamaica College Board Chairman Michael Bernard confirmed receipt of Reed's application for a leave extension issued on August 2. Yes, I can confirm that I am in receipt of a letter from Mr. Reed. However, the board has not yet met. Where the matter will be discussed, Bernard told the Gleaner on Wednesday. Unfortunately, I do not have the letter before me, so I am unable to say what the contents are. However, you can be assured that anything that currently obtains, we are on legal footing as we have acted on legal advice, he said. But them still paying him. Well, not them. He, he, is, he, is, still. he is still the principal at yeah, JC. So the contract would end this November. The second man would end this November. So what? What? No man, the second man done. It was special leave again. Yes. So it it November it had done. The second man done from yes. him resign. Yes. So special leave when the pumps. Where the prime leave. minister give him. Special leave when the pumps. Yes. At end November. Right. And he might request an an extension. To Five years. In now, little. 
Me I eat that. Look for me, I said that. Me I eat that. Uh, mm. Okay. Remember, you said me I eat that. You're not getting it. Okay, alright. <laughs> Shall we there now? Bernard stated that matters in relation to the future of rural read are in the hands of the Ministry of Education in conjunction with the board. Mm -hmm. The ministry was first asked in August about the current status of read and Pinnock's special leave, a spokesperson said. CMU as a council and JC as a board, you should try to get information from them. At the Ministry of Education, they would ask that question, you know. And them direct said. them to CMU and Jersey. That's all I have to tell you. You're not even saying what I'm going on. Go on, call me fool. <laughs> Special leave provisions are covered in the mm. education regulations. Listen to this part. Special leave provisions are covered in the education regulation, section 68. Which says in Alia that a teacher in a public education institution may be allowed special leave with or without pay as the minister may approve on the recommendation of the board to enable the teacher to undertake a number of activities. Why was the special leave given with pay and not without, without pay? pay? When the law said you can't can give it with without pay. <laughs> now we continue. Yes. Section F of item 68 states that one of those reasons may be classified as to be absent for such other reasons as the, the minister, minister may approve. approve. However, an interested legal party has dismissed the current situation as a circus. It has to be a circus, brother. The minister and permanent secretary are deliberately avoiding the option that is within the remit of the PS. Of the PS. Which is? To recommend that they no peer. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to do it. You know, ask me why again too. They're ask me why. Why? They're my friend. Ask me why. Why they not do it? They're my friend. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the current acting chief education officer was appointed by Rural Reed after I'm sent Dean R. Bernard over the finance ministry That's as director that. general and opposition over the name. So Dean R. Bernard carried them got a court and the court rules Say so if he get back in job. job, but Grace McLean still down there act as permanent secretary where Dean R. Bernard there. And still over finance. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> He lost in that system. Let me tell you, see, you know. You see why me and politics couldn't deal? Me and run away all of them. Because you know I'm sure the country might be. So what advice MOE are we pan? What them are, what what advice? They're no. not already in a stance where they can't no. take, so what them are we pan? They're my friends. Say something. You see that you have to say you're a game or you're not a game. Just say something and do it. And there's some me reach right now, cause me feel. But tell if you just ask me any question, any question, cause right, you know, you don't even realize what I'm going to go there, see you. You see that sit me up. Me not only take it personal, and me take it time out to understand all that has been made public. So when me attack. I don't talk from an emotional standpoint, I talk based on the facts that are known. But me because it why. irks me to my them, core. Them, why are they a weird fan? <laughs> the permanent secretary has the authority under the teacher service regulation and the edu. Hold on. I'll probably tell you something wrong. Yeah. Dean R. Bernard was the permanent secretary. Not 
the, 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 the chief education officer. No, man, permanent secretary. And I him them put a finance. And then my mom's are down there. And then he go a court. Right. Correct, yeah, man. And him win when he go a right. court. Right. But yeah. he's still not really. But I think my probably say it was some chief education officer business. No, man. Me know right. So finance. Grace was chief education officer. And she was promoted to, 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 to permanent sec. Right, right. right. So I don't want to, you know, yeah, want, you know yeah, left no confusion out there. All right. The permanent secretary who he appointed by sending Dean <laughs> I know. I the permanent secretary has the authority under the teacher service regulation and the actions of the former minister while in office make such a recommendation appropriate, said the attorney who requested anonymity. See how somebody in like you are coward to you know. They will throw a stone but they are fired back. Right? I bet if I did champion it, so I tell them to quote him. Eh, you must say it's like. I can't operate the M and D. As much as him, he mm. work, he mm. work. Yeah, son? Mm. No, Scotty, you tell me. You tell me. Oh, yeah, Scott, I no, no, want to bring you back to somewhere. There is provision that the special leave, if granted, can, can be granted pay. with or without pay. Mm-hmm. I bet you say, if I did me or you as teachers in that that's situation there, uh, we didn't even get a special leave. Maybe they not give you, but we not get you. We didn't probably get a special prison cell already. <laughs> Duh. This was just an article where, 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 mm. where, where woman there t- we kind of come out in a in a the article earlier. But she has she has wait for fever, poor fever. Why am tired? Ro- teach them rule of them secret wrapped up. Why they make that man feel untouchable? More to come. Let's see. But let's see. Let us let's see if it shows. Uh, let's see moment for true carry Jane. Ah, uh, carry baby. Okay, it's rough. Rough in Haggy then. Five more years at the tune of twenty three million dollars. Me not take three million dollars. Me not do what if we don't know. Mm. What if we don't say that? What if we twenty three million dollars. For five years we do not know at all. Sit down in my yard. And do not need because you can't sit down in your yard, but I work. I'm fighting case, man. Yes, you know how you need to. The wild one, Mr. Wild Man. Yeah. I see that, that funny when I read it. I <laughs> don't know why I find it funny when I read it. I'm free to fly out again. Sir, the struggle is more real than ever. That's what it is. Struggle real. But as a teacher, the struggle is real. But when you see these things, it just makes you feel disheartened. Make you feel like, you know, make no sense. That's why when the teacher then cut your cam, can cut. Can't fix. More shall be going. Great I may tell you, I may t- I've told you this many times. No good teacher now make again neither. Very few. Very I few. have seen that with my own eyes down the years, brother. And the good ones then, the ones that are left, left. shall be going. Mm-hmm. And it is primarily down to how the ministry and the government treat sees and treats treat teachers. Them. When I'm Vaz visitor visa reinstated. Go Vaz. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Two years after it was revoked, uh. Energy Minister Daryl Vaz United States visa has been reinstated. Vaz was on Friday issued with a one year visitor visa to the US. One year? In here, none before, brother. <laughs> he said. 
in an interview with Nationwide Radio. I can confirm that I am highly appreciative of the courtesy that has been extended by the U.S. What? Embassy in Kingston, Vaz said. Vaz's visa was snatched by the U.S. in November of 2019. November is a good month, you know. I don't yeah. bad. No formal reason was given for the revocation. They just take it. Yeah, not for them. Right, and a Euro visa. Is it Amer- in, 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 in Keita Scott visa? Yeah. Or Hugh Williams visa? Yeah. In the US, US visa? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I am committed to pursuing the matter concerning the revocation of his US visa with the yeah. aim of positive result. Vast said in a statement at the time. Philip Paulwell, the yeah, long standing member of Parliament for East Kingston in Port Royal, also had his revoked. I, I don't know. He oh, got to say Vast and he had to tell a lie. Oh. I can't tell him, I don't know. Okay. I I am um, I'm I'm say this and wrap up now. I am most concerned for our children, our students. I understand the struggles that exist, the challenges and from where I'm sitting I do not see any light at the end of the tunnel. Mind you, I don't even see a tunnel sometimes. Yeah, last night we have a discussion about... Sometimes I see a few look at I think a tunnel, but then you're running a roadblock. Zane, the education ministry for years has failed the nation. And I have long said that the three most important ministries in a country, education, education health and security, Tell me which other ministry are failing greater than those ministries. So how do we move forward as a nation? How do teachers stay motivated when they can't pay them bills? It's hard. You have teachers who are work for pay loan. So when they get them pay this month, they go pay a loan and borrow back some money. To survive. To survive. That's true. Them say you have to upgrade yourself. Oh, you're going to do your master's. You borrow money for do your master's. And, and you get $8,000 a month for your salary for your master's. Pay pay Millions of dollars for your master's. Millions of dollars for your master's. Especially from 2016, 27, oh, from whenever, 2018, teachers who are suddenly leaving one year with pay, one, one year without pay. pay. You have to find your way. Given. That's what's given. That's why most people go to one year and then come back. Because one year without pay is a long time without doing anything. A man who has done a yard for the next five years, $23 million, brother. $280 something a month. Imagine me I get that amount of time. Turn principal. No, it's alright. You don't want the money then. Me, but me get to one next year. I see money, I'm going to say. What? You can't give me money, man. Me don't want the post. You don't want the post, just give me money. Give me money. Me, me, well, I mean, I don't know. And you see, this is one of the things too. I mean, even about that stream sometimes. Because some things just, just wrap me to my core sometimes. And I just, I just lose my peace, brother. Yeah, I have to protect your energy, don't man. Don't allow them to steal your peace. I would have said I'm going to create private school. I wish one child. You're going to send your one child to me? Neeks. And then you have some idiot people too. When you talk about these things, a politics you talk about. Which politics, brother? What politics this? When I look not upon politics now, we just have look upon what it is. We are looking at it for what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Why? Peeps, you don't big up on yourself, you know. You understand? I appreciate the ones I'm supporting, you know what I mean? Give thanks. But I think rough. You see me? Thing rough. I don't even know. Crayons and colouring. I don't know, Rasta. Really, if you die. 
Auntie, si speak up yourself now. Them topic here tonight heavy. Me I want to know, but who no man is here? Like in your stomach. You understand? Make me like look you know, perspective, different perspective, but they look at you, man. Come on, they have to just laugh. Gary <laughs> say I make sure. I'm not going to be ignorant, man. I'm going to edit one interview. The second half of our interview, we have to premiere she tomorrow. She said you are make sure you are Oh, me. Yeah. No, go to bed, ignorant baby girl, man. You understand? No, 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 See me? So by the time I don't edit the interview, they all laugh. I'm good again. Mm-hmm. You see? So I'm not going to bed tonight till I edit that. And I want to half. All the best. So, you know what I'm go. Better you than me. You're a fool, man. Tell the people and Baba your name. Good night, guys. I'll see you again in the near future. <laughs> How near is that? Next week? Yeah, you hear me say stop going like you want to put me out of the road? When I have when I have interview sat there with you next week. Yeah. See you there on the calendar. So I can't next week. Panic. You know stream and sleep and we left the interview that. Oh. You can't even add. Yeah, try to pity. I sat there on in the interview. Mm-hmm. We are pushed out early, right? Then we not a choice. We're not plan to stay watch you all day. You can put me in our room, down in our room, so I want to place them. You know, stay. You don't feel like you don't do that? For your birthday. Teacher, my birthday is the way around the world. So you wait. Birthday is not a good thing. I try getting it off right now. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about double E I J H T V. So, <laughs> Babes, big up on yourself. Interview uh, premiere part two again. The interview. Yes. Um. The part of the interview with me, love. Me too. <laughs> Zin. Deep. Yeah. Emotional. Deep. Emotional. Yes. You understand? The first oh. part, you might talk in, in struggles and, mm. you know, things are, eh. But this it is what it is. But the second part, the second part of my part, so, I'm going to mm-hmm. edit it in the night and all the vibe again and all the joy and tomorrow, I'm going to see it. Big up on yourself. About 7.30 tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Both them time, so. Yeah, you should be done it by about 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and them so yeah, upload your morning and make it go on. So, only thing I think. Peace, speak up on yourself, you know. Good night. Appreciate the support. Soon again, Sunday. Fingers crossed. See you I'm on the stream. I'm on the stream. On Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Yes, I remember. I'm try to record the stream and thing, but. Let me feel a vibe tonight. Mm-hmm. Probably I shouldn't come here every week, you know. Me pay for me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Peace, be up on yourself. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Okay. You understand? COVID still a keep. Please. You understand? For those who Please. believe that COVID exists. It, and it for those keep. who don't believe, it is keeping. Me Sorry. I speak to the believers here, yeah, man. But sir, right you have to try to convert. No, 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 no. A pastor job that. I mean, no, 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 no. Remember every uh-huh. September you say you preach the gospel. And people backslide. Yes. Yeah, you have to convert now. I convert, yeah. I convert. Geo gospel that no, this is an epidemiological gospel. Yeah. <laughs> a, 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 a train for that. But please, speak up on yourself. We think serious. People still are dead, yeah, sir. I could try to stay alive now. You understand? And even if you don't agree with certain things, just do some things to at least protect yourself and yeah. your family, yeah, sir. Yeah, self preservation, yeah, people. Selfishness. Yeah. You're, not, you're, not, you're not have a party, brother. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Party will come clothes. back. You see, party we forward back. You're not dead if you're not party. You understand? I know a thing for the people I'm out the way I struggle. Yeah. When I go and fight the fight, yeah, man, because I know it's rough. You the, the think just out of way. You see me? You think just to teach them. You can't change them. Go, go like that. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. I'm not changing them. Go, go like that. Go, go. I feel live too. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Peeps, what good? Step with you. See if travel upon the gravel. You know the thing go. Good and night. What? Chelsea and City are dry tomorrow. Good for Liverpool. <laughs> My mother used to say, live in hope and die in Kansas Spring. Pick up yourself. I'm out. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Like the stream before you go. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Remember to share the stream with your family and friends and browse the channel for more amazing content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them! Hey, yo, yellow! Send a message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing.